Hello. That's the wrong window. Ah uh, yes. Oh, there's his. What up, boys? Yo. Oh, you're gonna yo. see his big my face. Big, my hair's crazy, son. <laughs> where's the uh? Where's that window? What? That's that's the wrong window. I'm, I'm talking to myself because I got I got home. Well, first of all, I can hear myself. You crazy fan? Through one of you, fro, through one of you people. I gotta I gotta charge my. Phone. I think it's Izzy because I can hear Izzy twice. Uh no, I I got it muted. I got it muted. Hello. Okay, yeah, no, it's good. Oh. Whatever it is. Anyway, yeah, I definitely got it muted. Uh, I got home a second Sometimes ago. I was at Will's. It, it repeats. I was at Will's putting up his TV. Oh, oh yeah, he bought another TV. <laughs> Or Black Friday or whatever. Yes. Nice. And he got a nice little mount for it. Lit. I gotta do this so Izzy's face isn't so goddamn huge. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta make this whole window smaller. Let's see here. Also, who knows if the sink is good? Guess we'll find out. Probably not. Hello, everybody. Probably not. And I haven't checked my let's go in a little in a little while. I gotta go play after this. I got I, my Pokedex fam. Already? I fucking did it. I fucking did it. Yo, congratulations, Jesus man. Christ. I'm really proud of you. You should be. You should you should I'm so proud, fucking dude. bow down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even close. I got what, I think sixty? I'm a noob. I'm a Pokemon noob. Um I used my uh my powers. For, for evil, as it were. A good, what does that even mean? A good <laughs> yeah. amount of a good amount of my Pokedex was just people being like, "Hey, Pokemon that I can trade to you." Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, see, that's how you gotta do it, man. This might be the first Pokemon game I'm gonna actually finish, so I'm pretty pretty hyped. Fake fan, fake fan. <laughs> the first one ever. The first one ever, man. I have ADHD. It's very hard for me to finish any game. I think the closest I got, I got to Elite Four, and then I'm just on my. Uh, wow, my... you didn't even beat the. Wow, no. Yeah, man. I'm not going. I don't. Wow. Accept that. I don't yeah, even, man. I don't accept it. <laughs> like I said, it's hard for me to focus on one game and actually see it all the way through the end. I Mr. 3DS never. I know, fucking, right? I, you know what? I quit. I'm leaving this stream. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hello, Mel Melanie. Bright shiny shadow, Fred, Kate. Read that name again. What the what the fuck? You average you, maniac. What did you say? I said Melanie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is there a problem? It, it there sounded a problem like you said. It sounded like you butchered that, and that's a pretty normal name. No, I said it perfectly. Uh, all right. Perfectly. Oh, I wanted to wear my beanie. Where did I put it? Oh, I put it on top of the green screen. Huh. I got. I got my beanie. How far into the game are you, Bob? I didn't see your. I'm so far. <laughs> I was the first to beat it. You the know? first person to beat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. No, I'm I'm in Celadon. Oh, you know the title of the stream. <laughs> oh yeah, right there. Look at that. <laughs> I thought you were just a fan of I Celadon. Do I do have to add you to the description though, because I didn't even know. I didn't know if you were coming or not. What the hell? How was your Magic the Gathering? Uh, I fell through. The guys aren't available tonight, or have, they haven't gotten back to me. So I'll probably do it after here. Or oof, whatever. Oof. What do you got against Magic the Gathering? It's a, it's a, it's an. Nothing. I just like to, I just like to shit on. It's a, it's a, anything that's nerdy that I'm not into. It's a great game. Sure. You're just jelly. It's a great game. <laughs> Going to say, that's some nerd shit. It is some nerd. It is it? some nerd shit. It absolutely. Oh, you're okay. Let me, let me, let me tweet shit. this in my, uh, on my, to my peeps. Yo, yo. I didn't even tweet it. <laughs> what is your URL? It's not Izzy Nobre. It's uh, the Izzy Nobre Show. The Izzy no Nobre Show. And is it, do you pronounce it Nobre? You know what? I go back and forth. I, I sometimes say Nobre. It's funny because I, I, when I first immigrated to Canada, the guy at the airport said Nobre, uh, like, like it's French. And I had never heard my name in English before. I'm like, I guess that's who I am now. But my ex-wife, oh when she took my name, she would say Nobre, which is how I say it in Portuguese. So I don't know. I go back and forth. Like even on my videos, I say both. I say nobody. I say nobody and no bray. I, when I first saw it, I thought no bird. No bird. I, I get a lot of no bird too. Yeah, Bob confused me because I was like, no. I don't, I don't think that's how you say it. <laughs> In Portuguese, like the proper way is nobody. That's how you say it. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Then say no, say no, Bree. It's fine. I guess that's what everybody <laughs> says. Uh, what do you guys tweet for me? I, I don't have a cool name like Wolf. Thanks so much. Yeah, it's very simple. Okay, I tweeted on my pronounce, main one, it and I'm gonna tweet it on the English one. Give me a sec. One time, I heard uh, somebody somebody called me Wolof. What? That's not it. That's and not how you say it. Make... Can I get the link on my phone? Oh, I'm offline. That's cool. AJ. I always every time I go to type AJ's name, I, like it takes me a second because I type AJ and it doesn't come up, and then Ann doesn't come up. Every time I have to like look it up. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna. Ooh. Can I share the stream? What's going on here? Uh, I'm going to. I have my Mew in here. I haven't charged this thing since the first time I charged it, and I've been out playing it with Pokemon Go and everything. So, I'm going to put my Mew back in, and we're gonna see how many freaking levels that thing goes I've through. had my, uh, my Charmeleon in my Pokeball for, I think, like, three weeks now? I don't even know. It's just there. <laughs> I never remember. Dude, that thing's when gonna I level pop like it out, crazy. it's gonna be like, you beat the game, that's it. <laughs> I never put anybody in the Pokeball, I always forget. What? Hey, uh, who was it that, uh, took, uh, took their, uh, oh, no, it was Bob that went on a, on a drive with, uh, with his Pokemon. Shh. Yeah. I don't. I never. I would never put Pokemon Go while driving. I would never do that. Never ever. You didn't mention that in your. Uh, in your. Uh, no, I was. It must not be me. Slow enough. Like I figured out how slow you had to drive or something. <laughs> no, that, I didn't do that. But but when you go to red lights and stuff. <laughs> uh, I heard this is all. This is all I heard. You you watch Pokemon Go. I should do that. <laughs> A Pokemon is out for a stroll. Would you like to bring it back for a stroll? Yes. What I what I started doing was I started putting my Pokeball next to my keys and my wallet. That's when I leave the house. I need to take it. All right, I'm level 35 now. Let's see what 35, happens. 35, nice. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. I love that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was me walking around Chinatown again. Nice. Yeah, I still never did that. And now my main team, I, I can't do it. Cause they're all on 100 now. <laughs> they're all at 100 already. Your your Pokemon, holy crap! Yeah, I don't like this. How it tells you the levels afterwards. Like you already yeah. told me, I don't need yeah. this. Just go to the last one or something. Like same with uh, after every match when all your Pokemon's like every battle, your Pokemon's all level up, and you have to like sit through every single one of them leveling up. It's kind of a pain. Holy crap! 23,000 experience. Nice. Yeah, pro tip, best experience is after the game in the uh, Cerulean Cave. You can get like fucking 20,000 experience for catching one fancy. Holy crap. Oh, I got so many Mew candy. Can I bring my Pokemon from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Let's Go, level it up, and then bring it back into Pokemon Go. Once it's out of, let, once it's out of Go, that, that's it. <laughs> it's not going back. It's a one-way ticket. I haven't even done that. I uh, I connected my Pokeball to Pokemon Go, but I'm not a huge Pokemon Go guy, so I played it for like a day. I'm like, okay, I, I see it. This is cool. This is nice. But I've never done it. And I haven't even gotten... Where do you actually get the, uh, like the Pokemon Go Park or whatever in the game? Where do you actually... Fuchsia. In Fuchsia, okay. Fuchsia, yeah. Okay, I'm almost there. All right, that makes sense. And it goes... Oh, yeah, it's only one way forth. back or forth, right? Like, uh, you get the Pokemon from Go and into the park, and that's it? Wait, what did you Correct. say? That's, really... that's, that's what he yeah, just that's what said. Saying. It's, it's a one-way street. Yeah, yeah, one -way yeah, street. Yeah, yeah. Is what he's saying. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to Celadon. That's what I'm doing here. You got a lot of Brazilians in the in the stream today. This is cool. I didn't expect you to have that many Brazilian fans. One of the first uh, people in here was like, "Yo, you should have this guy Izzy on. He's a Brazilian Canadian YouTuber." Yeah, I saw that because of the game because he had 99 Levitas in the thing. He's like, "Oh, yeah, get yeah. Izzy here to talk about it." And AJ's like, "Yeah, I had you, dude. He's like ready." 
Somebody's making fun of my headphones. These are my girlfriend's headphones. They're like Sony, like the, the PS3 headphones. Or oh, those are the Sony Golds? Yeah. That... You using it as a mic, too? I think so. I think it's a putting mic from this thing. Yeah, that's what they are. They're the official Sony headphones that... She doesn't even have a PS3 or a 4, so I'm not sure why she bought this, this pair specifically. They're okay, I guess. Zach Attacks says, Can someone give me a Scyther for my decks? No, you give me a Scyther. I don't have one. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anthony Carboni, he knows what's up. It's Skyther. That's what That's what you <laughs> fucking... Skyther. That's what you call that. <laughs> Where did you hear him say that? He, he did like this video talking about uh, a lens. It was like the Sigma... Oh, yeah. yeah. I like his YouTube channel. He doesn't have a lot of subscribers, but he's... he's... It's a very good YouTube channel. He what is he talking about? It seems like he just kind of sometimes posts. <laughs> kind of just vlogs. Yeah, he doesn't post very often. It's just him vlogging. Okay, cool. Like when he does, like, a, when he goes to, like, uh, I watched him, uh, he went to, like, an 80s-themed diner. That's cool. Oh, Saved by the Bell Diner. Dude, I wish you'd vlog more. Like, your your video, I think the closest thing I've seen from your channel. Nobody watches them. It's, uh, it's cool. Uh, I think the closest thing I saw from in your channel that was, like, close to a vlog, or at least closer, was the uh, when you did the uh, the Game Boy camera because you're like going places and like yeah. that was kind of cool. Izzy was talking about that yeah. before, and I'm like, he has a whole fucking playlist of vlogs, man. He vlogs. I Not guess I didn't, in, in I didn't, world, but... didn't see them, I suppose. That's why. <laughs> That's why he doesn't vlog anymore because you don't even know they exist. <laughs> Telling him to to make them, more, and I don't even watch. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch Bob vlogs after this. Let the record show. I do have a playlist. That's right. Yeah, there's a playlist it? somewhere. Just hit it up on the on the on the chat. So, some good. Tommy, Tommy is, or Fred or somebody link uh like my yeah, vlog dude. playlist. I'm calling bullshit. I'm calling bullshit because I linked the playlist. He was streaming and he was like, "Oh, I never do Bob stream." I mean, I never do Bob did vlogs, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, here's the playlist." <laughs> but I was streaming, so I forgot after. But I definitely want to. And bookmark it. <laughs> I guess I should have. What's happening? Oh, I'm hitting all the wrong menu buttons. Where's the, uh, where's the, the vlog? Grimhain, Bob vlogs? Oof. What? Okay, are you gonna unsubscribe? <laughs> what? I, see, what is it? What is it? I, I guess it makes, like, if people watch your stuff mostly because they enjoy your take on video games, they associate your brand with vlogging, and I get that. But I, when I follow somebody and I follow all of their work and I'm really into what they, like, their vision on things i i'm also down for like watching there's this comedian on youtube called uh, gus johnson you guys probably have seen uh, his stuff yeah and uh, he did a vlog recently and he's like i get it that this is not what you guys are here for and i'm not going to be doing this all the time but this is i just wanted to do to, to make one and i thought it was pretty cool like so yeah i, I gotta i gotta i gotta um, I used to do it when I would go to like a convention or something because i figured it would be easier to do that than to make a whole video for that week um and it wasn't. <laughs> uh, but it was still fun to do. Who has clearly never been on the internet. Yo, Bob, no, this uh, is yes. obviously a, a goof. But he said Bob vlogs equals blogs. Bob, okay, uh, let's see here. Bob vlogs. <laughs> That's, That's actually cool. pretty This is from back in 2016 was the first one in the list. And the most recent one was in 2017. And I see that I, this is why I didn't know because it's not something you do very uh, frequently. That's cool. I'm going to watch these later. That's I wonder if there's a newer one. What's the newest one on The there? most recent one is the uh, Making of E3 2017 vlog. So that's from June 24, 2017. Also, uh, we have uh, one of the guys from Qbyte here on the chat. He just hit me up on WhatsApp. And he was asking me if uh, your fans would like a copy of 99 Vitas on the house. I want a copy. No, I already bought it. Uh, yeah, one. yes, they absolutely. Yeah, would. he's sending me one. We're gonna figure out a way to, to give this away to somebody, a lucky, uh, a lucky person there. Oh my God, did I? Egg Thank you very much. Yeah, no worries, man. <clears throat> I clicked out of the uh, the thing to go into your vlog playlist, and I was like, I "Where's the chat? I can't see people anymore." And that's. Cool. I mean, I shouldn't assume. I should ask the chat if anybody wants a copy of 99 Vitas on the Switch. I shouldn't just assume that they want it. I think I think we need to ask first. How are they? Would anybody in the chat want a free copy of 99 Vitas on the Switch? Yeah. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to need your clearance to to uh, time out, Grimane. No. Yes, unsub returning the merch. No. Time out. No, he's he's. He, you don't have to time out, but you can scold him. <laughs> I, I don't have my I don't have my uh, my uh, my my Wolf Den T-shirt today. It's somewhere here. Only recently I've been able to wear T-shirts again because, as you know, I 
head shoulder surgery and I, I got your shirt right and then like a week later i got to wear it once and then i had surgery the next week so i couldn't raise my right arm which means i couldn't wear t-shirts right what did you do what did you just wear button ups? uh yeah just buttoned ups and just or yeah that's it Oh my god really like when i was more overweight i had like really big ass t-shirts so those i could put on while keeping my arm down right like i, I can maneuver around that but like medium t-shirts which is like i bought a, a medium wolf then uh uh t-shirt um thank you very much yeah yeah I, I thought of the design was cool and i love your channel you know this for a long time so i was like i'm gonna support the channel uh and i i love the i love the i actually wore it in a video but i don't think you can actually see it very well i wore it in a recent video Luigi Azevedo says, "Hey Bob, has it gotten to your ears? Is he never finishes games? Yeah, I've admit." That was the like the first thing he said. It was the first. Was he's got ADD? <laughs> and he can't. It's very hard for me to focus on games for for very long. I play I play very like the games that I play the most are real time strategy games on skirmish mode because I can drop in like for two hours, get my fill, and then go on with my life. I don't usually sit down to finish a game, right? Uh, they are asking if I finished 99 Vitas. Not yet, because for two reasons. One, it's it's pretty hard. The last the last boss is pretty hard. And two, I play that game so much during the beta testing process, right? That I like I I had to like take a break when it when it finally came out. Now that it's out on the Switch, I'm back in because the Switch to me is like the best way to play anything. Uh, you know, funny thing, like Bob, I think I told you this. I'm not sure if the guys in the chat know this, and I, I get I bet you it's probably going to be the, the case with a lot of people there. I bought my Switch because of your channel. Oh. Yeah, I, I thought I told you that. I uh, I did a video no, that I wasn't interested that. on the Switch when it first came out, right? There was no games that I liked at launch. And then one of your, like, YouTube recommended me one of your videos. And I'm like, okay, I like this guy's videos. Like, it's interesting. Like, I still don't like the Switch. still not sold. But I want to see more about it. And I, like, kept watching your stuff. And then I introduced your channel to to my girlfriend. He's like, yeah, I guess the Switch is actually pretty cool. I'm like, yeah, I guess it is. So I bought it because of that. So I was, uh, what is it called? It Like, you're, you were an influencer. Um, uh, it worked. Time to <laughs> Yeah, somebody okay. told Nintendo. Uh, no, matter of fact, better yet, uh, film yourself saying that, uh, and then I'll email it to Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, thanks, AJ. He'll he'll be the he's got the he's got the in. Oh, I do, man. I do. Can confirm, can confirm. Which way do I go here? I don't think I want to go up. What are you playing these days, AJ? Um, I'm right, right now, since I just finished Pokemon, I'm kind of just like in limbo. Uh, um, waiting for Smash being tortured by the preload of smash on my on my screen right now <laughs> what is this way oh this is gonna be the guy who's like you i'm so thirsty oh yeah that guy i forget what you get that is like you get tea or pop or whatever I forget where it changed he said it tea. changes in, in every game the first game you could just fucking give him whatever um ah. then in fire red and leaf green you have to get the ones that play the most specifically tea um and yeah. in, in this game you have to get tea. Uh, okay. That's oh, do I have to do this thing in the underground tunnel where I like walk really slow right and P P Pikachu is going to be like, oh, there's an item over here. I mean, you don't here. have to do that, but you can get a lot of money by doing that. I love money. Because there's like oh. big nuggets. It is really annoying though. It is. It is. You could just spam A. That's what I started doing. Just... Yeah, but then I keep getting, oh, I should put Mew in his Pokeball. That's what I should do. I wish I was in limbo between games because I want to play. I don't play Warframe. Warframe. And I want to play uh, Red Dead. Uh, Warframe is an, an incredible game, especially for like a portable system. But it really, like as you said in your video, it, it's very overwhelming, especially for somebody like me. So yeah, I just there's a way to auto. You know how you can like mod your equipment. Mm -hmm. There's a way to have it on auto. Okay. So it just, every time you pick something up, it just tosses it on your... I weapon. wish Diablo had that, because Diablo on the Switch has that same kind of issue. Although not as overwhelming. Diablo on the Switch, by the way, incredible title. It's awesome. It's also some I, I like that a lot. <laughs> it is also some shit. I find that, like, I got Diablo, and I was having a blast. And then I, uh, a buddy of mine, who lives, like, in a next town over, he uh, was a big Diablo fan. He beat it several times on the PC, and he just bought a Switch. And when he found out there was Diablo on it, he told me, like, go buy it so we can play together. I was like, I already have it. So now I start a new character. Just, just I'm, I'm just exclusively playing with him. Like, just like he comes home from, from work at his place. He calls me. We log in, play for like an hour or two, doing like through a Facebook Messenger call. 
So just like chatting, like I've known this guy for like a long time because he was a reader of my blog way back. And then we're just like chatting about like anything for like two hours while playing this game almost like very much like it feels like we're chilling in the same place and like just shooting the shit and playing the game. It's a great experience. That's what the Switch is all about for me. All right, we got to read the chat here. Uh, Eric. Man. Chris says, yeah, I was barely in interested in the Switch. Then I saw Bob's video and I begged my girlfriend to let me spend my whole <laughs> paycheck on one. She said no at first because she doesn't like how Bob says Mario. I'm with her. I'm uh, going to say Mario as well. Mario. I, I don't know if I like your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to uh, Wizdrin, who was on. I, I, he, like, tweeted about getting controllers for the smash uh, for smash brothers he was like i'm trying to convince her <laughs> that uh <laughs> that uh i need four controllers to to play this game and i'm like yeah just just tell her i said it's okay <laughs> just like you know just like fucking like not even expecting it to really matter was, like, dude she actually likes your channel it's like oh shoot i wasn't expecting that but uh it's this is this is why i'm single because it's like <laughs> i would never in a million years be like can I please buy this? I don't yeah, get no. it. I'm just buying it, and then if if I get in trouble, it's like, okay, well, I did it. So you say yeah. it's easier to ask for uh, forgiveness than it is to ask permission. Chris, <laughs> exactly. it's funny you say this because this buddy I just mentioned that I played Diablo with, he still hasn't told his wife that he bought a Switch, so he's been <laughs> he's been hiding from his <laughs> wife. That's messed up. I know, right? Oh man, uh, Tom, you're it's messed up when you have to do that. It is. It really is. I, I'm lucky that like my partners have always been like my ex-wife. She was down with games and my girlfriend is insane about video games. I'm not sure if you can see it in the back there, but that's her little shrine. So she has like a GameCube, a Dreamcast, an NES. That's I saw her buying, uh, buying up all the Sega stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the set the John makes a good point. He to. says, Bob, you're single. You and AJ broke up. Good point. Oh, good oh point. no. I mean, my girlfriend is very accepting <laughs> of my career. Helps me even. That's cool. Okay, that's cool. cool. Yeah. Uh, that's what I meant Tommy to Rowe just asked, is Diablo like Halo Wars? No, not at all. Uh, Diablo is a, like an action RPG hack and slash, whereas Halo Wars is more of an RTS, right? A real time strategy game. So, um, not really the same genre. I would like to refute what Izzy just said. Uh, they're both some nerd shit, so very much so alike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to crack open this nice, cold, uh, sail away coffee here. Just don't mind me, guys. <laughs> hashtag uh, not spawn. Hashtag uh, mm, delicious. Um, oh, if you didn't say anything, it would have just been product placement. I learned that from uh, from uh, Lindsay Jones. <laughs> Refreshing. Oh, Lindsay it's Jones. got a Santa uh, on it. Fuck. Uh, Lindsay Ellis. That's 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 the that's the Lindsay Ellis. They 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 didn't. Bob, I'm DMing you the code for 99 Vita. So when we switch to that game, we can do like you figured out how to give this away to somebody. Cool. Just um, throw it on the chat, and whoever redeems it fast is the one who gets it. I don't know. No, I'm not. Gonna... <laughs> that's, like, <laughs> that's a that's a disaster. It's a free for all. That's a damn disaster. Oh man, it's like. We should we should we should make a like a puzzle for every number. Ah oh, yeah. I don't want to fight. Him. <clears throat> Tabitha Craft says my husband saw me playing Pokemon one day and now he won't give me my damn Switch back. So that's the problem you end up with if you uh, if you both game. Oh, if you both game. Okay, I get it. See, uh, Tabitha, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, this is what the Nintendo is driving at. They want the the Switch to be multiple uh, console per household si uh, household system. Right, so that's what they—that's that's their plan all along. He's gonna need to buy his own Switch. Yeah, I mean it's like Game Boys. Every every kid had exactly. Every sibling had their own. I mean, game. I didn't, and I and, and then that gave me psychological problems. That's why I have all of them now <laughs> on my walls. Wow. Uh, but yeah. Me and Will were very good at sharing, but even then we still had. I wasn't. Games. I wasn't good at sharing. Was it down with that shit? I think you mentioned, AJ, in a recent video about how Yellow was the first game that was, because your siblings, you shared a Game Boy, but Yellow was your game you, you're mentioning in a video recently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because before then, it was like, I didn't really care enough to be like, I want this game. Yeah. Right, right. You're so saying. it was like, we had like an SNES and a Genesis and all that cool shit. Right, right. And I just didn't care. But Pokemon, I was like, yo, I saw it on TV. I kind of played a little bit of Red and Blue, yeah. or we had that or whatever. I want it now. That's what I want. And then from there, it was just fucking a spiral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, my uh, my girlfriend and I both have Switches. I gave, uh, last year, I went a little crazy. 
So I gave my, I was so in love with the Switch and I wanted to, to, people to play with. So I gave my girlfriend and my brother each a Switch for Christmas. Uh, and they both absolutely love it. My brother is like, he's in, like, he, my brother was never a big fan of portables. So I knew he wasn't going to buy one, just I'm telling him to buy one to play with me. So I'm like, play this and, you know, there's going to be Pokemon and Mario and Zelda and all that. And now he absolutely loves it. He bought uh, extra Joy-Cons and he takes that thing anywhere. So like if people are just chilling and they're not, they're, like there's nothing to do, they'll boot up like something like uh, Ultimate Chicken Horse, which is a fun little casual party game to play really quick. Uh, or Mario Kart and things like that. So that's cool. I'm getting rid of Bubble for Bite on War Total. Uh, what else does uh, War Total have? Does he have, have He has beam? Water Gun, he has Scald, and he has Tackle. Okay. Why do you still have Tackle? Because he has shitty attacks overall. <laughs> it's it's a, I, I like having a variety of types but of Tackle. Bubbles. Nah, he can get, he can, Shut up, he can get rid of Bubble. <laughs> Bubble's redundant. He doesn't need that at all. I have a lot of water moves yeah, going Bubble on is kind of redundant. Bubble and water gun. I didn't need both. Need yeah, both. you can get rid of water gun next. You know, it's fucking, you don't need that shit. Somebody in the chat next, I'm going bald. That's true. I am going bald. This is a, a problem. Well, you next up, you're gonna need yourself a little wolf den beef. I guess, right? No, but that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna make it me go bald faster because you're not supposed to have stuff on your head if you're already losing hair. You know what? You know Shut what? Up. Just <laughs> accept it. You know. Shave it. Fucking, you know, just resign to it, and then you get the wolf den beanie soon. Yeah, I'm fighting yeah, it. I'm, I want. I'm trying when, to keep my when, hair as much. When as I possible. go bald, then I then I get the beanie and then hide it and hide my. And since I live in Canada, I can wear that stuff like all year long, pretty much. Yeah, but you're gonna miss like how many generations of beanies? You're not gonna go bald within this year. <laughs> Finger crossed. <laughs> I bought the stuff that I'm putting on my hair and everything, but I'm not sure, man. What do you got? What are you doing? Let's get into Let's this now. Let's get into this. Let's get into it. It's uh, Bob's uh, hair loss <laughs> vlog uh, slash uh, stream. Yeah. Uh, so I got <laughs> I got Rogaine and I got uh, what's it called the uh, Finasteride, which is the, like the pill you're supposed to take both. Finasteride, yeah. 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 Uh, my doctor told me to get both. Uh, so yeah, Jesus but I'm I'm kind of bad at like putting putting it on and taking it every day. So ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. So I uh, I got the vitamins. Well, I used to take uh, I used to do uh, minoxidil, which is the same as Rogaine. Correct, it's yeah. the foam. It's the foam. Yeah, you put it's, in. The, it's the active ingredient. And that, it worked really well, uh, but then it started to burn my scalp. Oh yikes! That's bad. Like like chemical burns. Oh, so um, so I had to stop using it. And then uh, recently I started using the Hims uh, vitamins. Okay. And the shampoo, because I don't want to use the their version of minoxidil, because it's just gonna burn my scalp. Yikes, yeah, yeah. I, I bought some M and M's today. That's what, that's what I did. Oh, cool, that's man. M and M's. Oh, I, 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 I thought it'd be it'd be sick. I could get some M and M's right now. I'm actually pretty hungry. <laughs> Cameron Powell says, "About uh, bald and proud, don't hold on to it. You'll look crazy." No, I'm holding out until I can afford uh, uh... implants. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's tell, apparently they or really the hair. Or a real fancy toupee. <laughs> Dude, I saw a video on Facebook and I'm like, hmm. It's like a like a toupee that you're supposed to glue on and the guy has like a luscious head of hair. I'm like, toupee sounds ridiculous, especially for somebody as young as I am, but that looked way better than I expected a toupee to look. You have to shave your head first. To glue it. And these people the way they shave their heads is they shave just the top and leave the sides. Right. So you'd have to, without the toupee, you look absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I look like 20 years older it's just not worth it at all unless you're all unless you're that bald you know oh man decepti john says peanut butter pretzel m&ms are the best they really are now i could go for some m&ms god damn you, AJ. Bet he spelled m&ms like that <laughs> yeah i know right? that's a, how did that's he spell it he spelled like the rapper yeah like, <laughs> oh you monster i know he costed himself more time that's very anti-internet yeah Somebody recommended Renato Oliveira said Trump toupee. There you go. Just over the side like this. I was going to make that joke, but. Well, the comb over, comb over. The comb over is back. Uh, I keep missing who, what freaking Pokemon they pull out. Yeah, I do that too when I'm streaming. <laughs> now nah, I'm just watching the, live, the the replay. Isaiah says uh, PlayStation and Sony sucks. No, they don't. Yo, what is your deal, man? This guy's commented on every one of my videos. Where he says that, that. on air? <laughs> oh, yeah. He, the first time I noticed was it was on the apparel video. Because I was checking, you know, to see how people like 
what people think about it. He was one of the first people. And uh, he said, Sony and PlayStation uh, are worse than the devil. Jesus Christ. That's a pretty, pretty strong sentiment there. And then I asked, last time he commented, I was like, well, I've seen you comment this. Why are you saying that? Because he hates And he didn't answer me. And now he's in the live stream. Will you please answer me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't hate any gaming company, man. I'm, I'm at the most indifferent. I don't think I... I guess EA. I'm a little. I'm a little miffed at them, but uh, but I, I wouldn't even say I hate them. Yeah. I definitely hate someone. Who? 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 I don't know. I gotta think. <laughs> AJ, who do I, I don't hate? Them. Um, I feel like you hate a lot, a lot of people. Um, no, I'm a very nice man. I've been hey, a you piece know, of shit. <laughs> I never denied that. I'm just saying. I feel like you. You also hate a lot of hate a lot of things. I feel like I've been pretty that. negative in my recent videos. I've been well, most of my my videos that did decent numbers. It's because there was like some negative situation that I'm talking about, and I feel bad because I don't want to be like the guy who's just like constantly like, oh, these guys did this and this is terrible. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to be like that either. More but it does it does brings out the crowd, which is like, yeah. it brings out the crowd, but they don't. It's, it's you know the people who are there for the sensational rage. You know, yeah, yeah. That's, that's like not they might not, they wanna, might not necessarily we'll stay. And also, True. people don't like being in like a very negative uh, community for too long. That's true. That's true. In my defense, I try not to be like I try to be f like funny negative and not just like angry negative. You know what I mean? Like I'm, right. I'm never like outrage. I'm more like, man, look at this. This is kind of crazy. Laughing and making jokes and stuff like that. So I make. That's why, that's why forced positivity works. Yeah. Th that whole thing on YouTube that was going yeah. on. Yeah, it's kind of weird because it's like, I mean, you really just had to be excessive in either way, <laughs> you know, like you can't really fall in the middle and it like uh, be crazy successful off the bat. Like you either had to be like crazy bad about it and say like, oh, I hate this. This is stupid, blah, 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 or be like, oh, this is the best thing ever. That's why best is such a good uh, word for a title. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's funny you say that because uh, my podcast, one of my podcasts is called uh, The Best Podcast in Brazil. And I, I chose that name specifically because people couldn't shit talk it because there's a lot of people who don't like me. But if they're going to talk about my podcast, they have to call it The Best Podcast in Brazil. Right. It's funny because <laughs> that works. Like I've seen people like complaining about me or whatever, and they're going to mention my podcast and they have to say, oh, yeah, uh, The Best Podcast in the in Brazil. Like it fucking sucks. And I'm like, yeah, no. Uh, Kate says, come on now. We're going to discuss GameStop. That's what Kate said. What happened? With what what happened? About them losing money, I'd assume. Them uh, posting a loss to like four hundred and something million dollars, I think it was. Oh wow! I didn't know that. Uh, it's kind of, it's it's an internet thing, you know, where it's like it's more nuanced than you would think it is. People really hate GameStop, like uh, and like love watching games, like content that shits all right. over GameStop. But the thing <laughs> yeah. about this is. A lot of their debt is because, or not debt, a lot of the loss that they posted is because they were paying off debts. So it's like, it's a loss, but it's not like doom and gloom for them. If anything, they're trying to put themselves in a better position so that uh, I guess I'll catch it this doesn't Radicate. become worse. Yeah, well, they're, yes, I, they're dying. For sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's really nothing they could do about it. They're, they're, it's a downward trajectory. It's the at the end of days, unless they completely refocus, which I don't know. I don't know how that's going to happen. They, they, they tried to pivot, where it's like, okay, we we see how games are changing, and after a while, like uh, physical media is going to be like this super niche thing, um, and that's not enough to hold up a a corporation at the size of GameStop currently. Um, but people just people don't want to go to GameStop for that shit. And even for games now, people don't want to go to games that much. So it's kind of I, like, I think I, them partnering with ThinkGeek or ThinkGeek buying them, and uh, that makes sense. Or no, who bought who? I forgot. But they you think bought Game... ThinkGeek? Oh, they bought. Yeah, I, I, it was the other way around. I like that. Yeah, because they need to focus on toys, because now there's no toy, toy, Toys R Us is out. Yeah, but that's the problem. Guys, we still got them up here. Suck on it. <laughs> that's you still got Toys R Us. Yeah. It didn't go bankrupt in Canada. The hell? Yeah. yeah. Um, but all right, I'm coming up. <laughs> but that's the problem. It's like, oh shit, we're dying. Let's buy into that other 
uh business or that other industry that is dying out let's do that you know that's a good idea <laughs> people aren't buying games anymore let's fucking sell them things that they're also not buying and stop buying years ago yeah we don't have like uh, up in canada our GameStop is uh, EB Games, right? Which was in the 90s. It was uh, it, there was a store called Electronics Boutique, which was basically like a smaller Best Buy, right. and they had their game division, which was EB Games. Now Electronics Boutique uh, went bankrupt, and EB Games stayed around, and then they were bought by GameStop some, I think, five or six years later. So it's basically like we have GameStop, but it's called something else here. Yeah. And somebody's talking on the chat, right? Luis Martinez, reason. Uh, reason for not going to GameStop. Would you like a pre-order? Are you sure you don't want a gamer's card? Do you want a protection plan? Just give me the damn games. And that's true. I like to go and check it out. Even though I know all the, for instance, like the Switch is my console of choice. Even though I know what's out for it. I like going to the store and like picking up the box. Even though I don't buy physical games, I still like the experience. And it's it's a pain, right? Like it's, you, you try to buy something and some of them are so enthusiastic about upselling you on everything else that it's like, this should be a, a more simple interaction. Like, I want this Pokeball Plus. Here's the money. Give me my thing. I, I worked at GameStop for a long time. How was that? I had a great time because my first manager was pretty good. And then the second manager that I worked with, uh, she was awesome. Yeah. And in that store, the first store I worked in was a really, really busy store. It was in a mall. Um, then I moved to a store that was closer to me, and it was much uh, quieter. Mm -hmm. Why am I not killing this thing immediately? Oh, isn't this like a flying type or some bullshit? It looks like a freaking grass type, and it's not. God damn it. There I go. Anyway, um, the second store I worked at was much quieter. There's barely anybody there ever, and we just fucking did whatever we wanted. It was awesome. And, like, you know, it wasn't like, it wasn't like the dark... GameStop overlords were like hanging over me every time somebody came in and was like, you got to get the subscription. You got to get them to freaking pre-order everything under the sun. No, if if a mom came in and was like, hey, what's that new Pokemon game that came out? And I'd be like, this one. And they'd be like, okay. And then I'd sell it to them. And that was it. Right. Goodbye. Yeah. That's it. If somebody came in and was like, hey, isn't there a new Call of Duty coming out? I'd be like, yes. If you want, you can pre-order, then you get a poster. And they're like, yes, I want that. It's like, okay, here you go. And then I got my then I got my pre-order for the day or whatever. You know, I only did it when it made sense. And if, if, if they yelled at the store and was like, hey, you guys aren't getting enough subscriptions or, or pre-orders, we'd be like, sorry. <laughs> like, that's it. I mean, yeah, it's kind of like now. <laughs> where it's like, you're not going to be like, oh, okay, I, I'm making this video about fucking 8-bit uh, eight, eight do controllers or whatever the fuck, but I got I to gotta get some, some uh, referral money. So let me put a goddamn switch dock in the in the description like you're not going to do that you're going to say okay i'll put some affiliate links for for the controller <laughs> that I'm no i'm not with. i'm not I, I also really didn't like when people that i worked with would be pushy on stuff right. like that because it's like what do you have to gain you work at, like, we make the same amount right. <laughs> like like you're not gonna get any further like you, you're just an asshole yeah, cause it's not you know? even like uh like cell phone carriers where you that's direct incentive where they're like if you sell this you get a commission you don't get a commission you just get a pat on the back and you look good for the day you know where it's like oh yeah, yeah there, there was there was another thing they tried to to push which was uh uh what was it um warranties on the oh game, yeah which it, sounds ri it, ridiculous it, it, yeah, to get a warranty on a game it is but what do you think I'm doing with these games that I'm going to need a warranty? Exactly. But there are there are two types of people who need a warranty on their games. Little kids? There's little kids who don't leave the game in the disc in the in the case, right. who just throw them around. And people who only buy one game a year, either Call of Duty or Madden. Those people and especially on Wait, Xbox 360, which is when I worked it. there. What? Why would those guys need it? The guys who only buy one game cuz they only play that one game. And in Xbox 360, it would oh, yeah. uh, sometimes the disc would, drive yes. would just put a giant scratch would, in the middle. As, of the you, disc. as you ejected, right? Like they would come out spinning. I remember that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and, and the warranty was only three bucks. So if somebody, if I knew the guy was coming in, he's only buying this one game, like Call of Duty or Madden, I'd be like, do you want the warranty? If, you know, Xbox 360 sometimes scratches. And he'd be like, oh, hell yeah. Or if it's a mom buying it with their kids and they're running around, I'd be like, uh, you, do you want the warranty? Because these only little three bucks. demons are like, going to yes, break absolutely. this disc in half. But I would never, it, 
that warranty would come up after every single game that you sell, every single new game mm. that you sell, and I would just ignore it 90% of the right. time. The but if there was somebody who it made sense, I would right. sell it. And you're their, the, you're their nightmare because the business model for that <laughs> is the same thing as MoviePass. They're expecting you to be like, oh, well, we'll tell you that you get everything under the sun, but we're going to assume that you're going to pay for it and not use it. So we're like, right. we just get that free $3. We don't got to do anything for it. It's just free uh, revenue. And, it and, and, and the subscription cards, which was $15 a month, no, $15 a year, um, it gave you 10% off used games and 10% more when you traded in stuff. Um, I don't know what, I'm pretty sure it's the same now. Uh, I would only ever sell that to somebody if they were either buying a lot of used stuff or they were trading in a lot of mm. stuff. Because if they're trading in a lot of stuff for credit, like let's say they're trading in $150 worth of stuff, Holy crap. I'd say, hey, if you uh, get the subscription, it's free because you're trading in $150 worth of stuff and you get 10% more for the trade in. And that'll pay off for the subscription. And they're like, absolutely. So then there you go. Or if they're buying like a hundred fifty dollars worth of used games, which almost never happened, I would do it because it made sense because it was free. Or I'd be like, it's going to cost you two dollars for the card, and you're in here all the time buying used stuff, so it might be worth it for you. And they'd be like, okay, fine. I'm sure that's the exact type of employee that GameStop does not want because <laughs> they want they want you to be thinking for their best interests, and you're thinking for the customer's best interests, which. In theory, is what you should want to do, but for for their business model, it just doesn't work. You just have to know. You just have to know how everything works. Like, I, there was never a time where I felt like I had to push something on a customer because I would just say no. I'm not, I'm not doing that. It doesn't make sense. And well, we did have sometimes we get visited by a district manager and I get a talking to, but it, it's like okay, you can say whatever you want to be, but I. I completely disagree. You want to fire me? Fine. I don't need this. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> How long? Did you I don't work need there? this minimum wage job. Um, I worked there. When did I start? I always imagine must have been. Game so would be pretty fun if you're obviously a big game gaming person. It must have been 2008. Oh wow! Was when I started in uh, Roosevelt Field Mall. It was a long time ago. And then. I worked a Black Friday and I got my tires slashed. Somebody just what? Fucking... <laughs> Somebody was just walking around slashing. And you didn't have the uh, warranty on those tires. See, that was your mistake right there. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't upsell. They didn't upsell and then I remember I went to the place to get my tire fixed, and there, the I didn't know what happened. You know, because my tire just deflated just like and flat, I didn't know. Yeah. So I I go to the place and the guy's like, dude. Somebody slashed your tire. And I was like, oh, okay. He's like, aren't you going to do something about that? What can you and I was like, what do you want me to do, man? What am I going to call the cops? Be like it's a $70 tire. Batman and like try to dust it for prints. And... Yeah. Like, can you do? He, he probably thought someone was like out to get oh, me or something. Yeah, or like yeah, I had a bad yeah, girlfriend. Yeah, but it's like it happened in the parking lot at a mall. Like some guy was just being a jerk. you were just the lucky the lucky guy that day that he's like he, he was out to slash someone's tires and like oh, i guess you'll do it's all peace it was probably just some kids screwing around with the game stop exact they heard about your practice oh yeah they were having there that shit <laughs> i was extra bad i was an extra bad employee at the mall GameStop because that was when i started and i didn't care about anything there was a lot of people who worked there so i like skirted right under the rug <laughs> Yep, I uh, that was that was when that I was just told this story today. Actually, uh, I worked at that mall, and one time we had this Canadian singer come in, and he was going to do a signing not at the GameStop but at the CD store uh, at the Fye across the hall and up the stairs, so I could see it. Oh my! And there was a there was a row of girls all the way around the building, all the way down and out, and it was all little girls and their moms. Oh um. And I was like a greeter on that day. So I was just standing by the door, you know, just watching everything yeah. happen. And I was like, who is this guy? I've never heard of it. It was Justin Bieber. No way. <laughs> yeah. And there were so many people that they canceled it. And the, the somebody comes outside and is like, guys, I'm really sorry. But uh, due, due to how hectic this is, uh, we weren't expecting this. And uh, we're going to have to cancel the signing today. And you just hear... Uh, just, uh, just like a thousand little girls hysterically crying. 
And then some mom put another mom through the window. Oh my God. <laughs> what? It was a riot. It was ins it, it was absolutely insane. I guess that's partially our fault. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, man. You bred that thing. I mean, in my defense... Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. I had no idea who he was at the Canada, time. That was like my first Canada time has a pretty bad uh, track record when it comes to music, right? Because uh, we got Nickelback, we got Celine Dion, we got Justin Bieber. Uh, you got hey, what's Brock? Then there's Rush. You got Drake, people like him. Yeah, Drake and Rush, they're pretty good, I guess. That's that's true. That's true. Also, uh, fucking, I can't even remember the fucking what well, I was about to say. I can't even remember. <laughs> Another Canadian uh, musical embarrassment. No, no, no. It was actually somebody that, that that's not an embarrassment, but I gotta fucking Google to make sure I'm thinking. Of I'm thinking of. Oh, and you're probably going to want some tea after eating them. Pewter crunchies can make you thirsty. Yeah. Oh, he gave me tea. Thinking, now I can uh, get to that. Shania area. Twain. Shania Twain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I thought she was from um, Alaska, though. She's like. That's, I feel like, a woman, right? Yeah, yeah. Says she's from my, Canada. <laughs> my mom loves Shania Twain. I thought she was from Alaska. Let's see. No, she's from. Yeah, she's from Canada. I didn't know that. I could Wow, they just about. straight up. This game's like straight up. Here's, you know that guy that just said he wanted tea? Well, here's the tea. Give it to that guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's your dream. Yeah, just ha hold my hand the whole way. Oh my goodness. I'd just rather them just not have things like that. Cause, cause like, what do I do next? Is not challenge. That's just fucking arbitrary needle in a haystack bullshit. Right. It's not hard to find a needle. In it anything. feels good when you already know what to do, yeah. but the the first time, it's super annoying. Am I in the Pokemon building now? Is that what's happening? Pokemon, what? <laughs> Isn't there a building that is basically game freak? Oh, the condo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, really? Well, it's not. Yeah, and there's. I didn't it's not. That. The whole thing's technically not game freak, but one of the floors is. It's like oh, they're. Okay. They're uh fucking office space i like stuff like that like kind of how like in your house there is a switch yeah i it would have been which maybe they'll do that in the next game i don't know but it would have been funny if they would have been like oh yeah you know how in that last game there's like six people in here now there's 200 <laughs> there's 200 people mm -hmm. in this office because that's how many people work <laughs> on this game now oh man you know what i should do i should have my old gamestop manager on one day because she doesn't work there anymore. For game, we can talk a lot of GameStop shit. GameStop story. <laughs> Do I have her on Wolf Den Live? Or like one of these. Um, I don't know about Wolf Den Live. Because that'd be like... It, 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 we wouldn't talk about any gaming news at all. That's true. That's true. I have... Uh, like everybody... Like you need to cut your teeth at a crappy job to appreciate... You know, the, 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 the better times in life. I used to work at a Wendy's. Uh, and it was absolutely terrible. Uh, I'm not sure if everybody. Wendy's did. sounds terrible. It was pretty terrible. I'm not sure if you guys have ever worked fast food. I don't recommend it at all. I worked for two hours at a subway. I did. Two hours? Did you I, get fired? That was fast? my first what ever happened? job. I, I. It was disgusting, and I never went back. <laughs> oh yeah, that, I hear a lot with people that work at fast food, where it's like, I'm yeah. never eating there. <laughs> no, no, that that's yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. This is Game Freak. This is uh, this guy's a graphic artist. I'm the one who designed oh, yeah. you. What? And they got switches on the table. Yeah, somebody mentioned that in the chat. Who was it? Let's see here. It was, uh, who was it? Uh, Mark Mar uh, Murphy. He said there's a switch on every desk. Lol. That's true. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it shows you, you what, the what they're doing on it, where it's like, oh, this is the graphical interface. You know? Wait a second. Well, that one, that one said, this is the script. I hope it doesn't end yeah, soon. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but like, so in the game, so the I didn't know that there was this kind of fourth wall breaking in this game. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's apparently. always been there. That's oh, been there was that on Yellow? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was. I remember that. And I remember that guy said specifically that. I'm the one who designed you. Maybe you didn't. Maybe it you freaked didn't me out. The... Oh, the script better not look at the any. I had no idea of this side of... Because, like, the Pokemon I played the most was Fire Red, and I don't remember that in Fire Red. That part, that's new. They didn't have, like, fucking Game Boys laying all over the place. Okay. But there were, like... It did have, like, the the, uh, the graphic designer and all. I didn't know that. That's cool. Um, but the only other thing that I've done before this is I did sales for DirecTV for a little bit. DirecTV? Is that even a thing anymore? I had a friend who did exactly that. DirecTV. Let's see here. That was my first, like, cable 
uh, like provider. And I remember uh, when uh, the first time we bought uh, we bought pay-per-view, which to me was like incredible because I was like, we can rent a movie without having to leave the house. That's crazy. And it was a crappy movie called The First Kid. You guys remember that? I think it was Sinbad. Uh, 19, no, it's a 1996 it movie with fucking Sinbad of all people. Oh, was he a pirate? And, was he a pirate? No, he wasn't a pirate. Uh, he's uh, the kid is like the first kid is like the son of the president, and Sinbad is a uh, uh, secret service guy who got demoted to chaperoning this the, the president's son basically. And somehow <laughs> I convinced my dad to drop like what five bucks or something to to rent this. I now I need to rewatch it. Oh my God! The Seth John. This said, is the game director. The Seth John said, "Do you think Kanto switches have some, have Netflix?" <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they're. I mean, these are developers. They they know what they, they know what's going on. Matendu says, "Or mate, I don't know how to fucking say your name. Let me know." Says, "Are you guys streaming Smash Day One?" Yes, we are. After the game awards. Uh, mi Switch midnight. Slash Wolf. We'll be streaming it at midnight. I don't know about. Friday during the day. Yeah, but that's good luck filling up your day. Pokedex. If you collect all of the Pokemon, let me know. Says the game director. That means AJ, you need to go back to this game director. I did. I did. Talk to him. I did that. What did he say? Uh, I think that's the guy. That, wait, let me see where you're at exactly. Spoil it for me. He gives you know that Masuda. Is this Masuda? Uh, he's the he's the director. But um. Yeah. What the hell's the game director of this freaking game? <laughs> but yeah, look. This up. But um. He, I, yeah, he's the one that gives you the, the diploma that I tweeted. That's like, you oh, okay. he's the one. Masuda. Junichi Masuda. I think. Unless he's directing the next game. I don't know. No, he's, he's directing this one. I think. Uh, who's this guy? About this His back is ripped. That he directs too. I wrote the story. Hey, tell me. Don't you think Erica is cute? <laughs> All right, Jesus. dude. Come on now. I like Misty a lot too. Oh, and Sabrina, I like her too. All right, dude. Okay, we found the creeper. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> He's a little Wait, too excited about, about these oh, uh, virtual anime girls. Oh wait! Oh my God! There's wait. a poster of Erica's Red 18. and Green in the back. Oh yeah, the uh, the original Japanese uh, box art. I just noticed that. That was cool. Erica's 18. How old's Misty? I know Misty's like. Oh, 12. good. She's hot. Erica's hot. <laughs> <laughs> We're allowed Misty to say that now. Is wait what? By one or two years. Oh, that's fucking Brock. Did you see they added Brock and Misty's outfits to Pokemon Go? Yes. No. Misty, you gotta have the suspenders. Yeah. Can't do it without the suspenders. Apparently, in this game, she doesn't have suspenders, and I didn't realize that. But if the head is not gonna be Misty's head, it needs suspenders. All right, I gave up. I'm not looking for her age anymore because it pops up Brock's age and it takes me deeper Googling and I don't got time for that shit. She has to be at least the same age as Ash. Yeah. In, or in that guy is going to jail. I think she is. Yeah. yeah. She better be 18 or that guy. But she is a Pokemon gym leader. Was she a gym leader in the anime? Like no, early she anime? wasn't. Yeah. She was kind of a gym leader. It was like a family business sort of thing. Was she? So this must be the after first the anime. One? Uh -huh. Like season one? Her sisters were like the official gym leader, but she battled Ash because her sisters just. Okay. And she was like, no, nah, that's not how this works. <laughs> All right, I'm in the department store. Yeah. I want to teach Mew a dope move. How much money do you have? I have limitless <laughs> cash. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, too. I, I, I don't think I've spent any money in this game yet, and I got a good. I think 15 hours because they give you enough Pokeballs and I have the patience to use all of the crappy Pokeballs to try to capture things. So I haven't bought anything. Yeah. I have about 120k bones. That's not that much money for, for TM. TM. I have limitless money. I'm 11. That's true. Uh, how much money is that? Hold on. <laughs> oh, I should sell stuff actually. There were so. Did I write down the moves I wanted? I have some moves that I want from you. That's a that's a whole there. lot of money for for a uh, for a ten year old. You got one thousand dollars. Yen. You got one thousand fifty five dollars and ninety two cents. Oh, the crap. Okay. All right. Doing pretty damn good for himself, this guy. What's that in nineteen ninety six money? 
I can just sell the pearls, right? The pearls yeah, are yeah, yeah. The, the nugget, yeah, you can. What is he doing walking around with shrooms? Hey, man, it was a different time. <laughs> I gotta give the candy. I have 11 Mew candy. There's no reason to give Mew the candy later, right? Like, I could just give it to him now. Yeah, you could just give it to him now. The, the candy are kind of like just to make the game easy mode. It's not really easier. Like, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have 11. Is that gonna level him up 11 times? It doesn't level him up, it increases his stats. Oh. Oh, oh god, this is gonna be insane. Um, cause what candies do is, and all, you know, like proteins and all that shit, um, they raise your EVs and those have a cap for like the cumulative, like how many, how many stats you have, you can increase 512 EVs for this. You can increase 200 for each stat. <laughs> um, oh my God. those don't, there's no benefit to waiting until he's maxed out. No, 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 no. Really, all that does is it makes you, like, invincible in the, the main game. Like, that's pretty much all it does. Because when you play against other people, unless you do no restriction, uh, they throw that stat boost out. Oh. So whatever candies you use against real people um, doesn't really fucking help you at all. The only thing that helps you against actual people is your IVs. Yo, Olva in the chat asks if this game is worth $60. I'll let you two handle this. Um, really depends on you. I would say if you're I think, like it a... I think I think it's worth this the, the, the asking price. It's a lot of fun. It's a little it's a little easy. Right? It's um it's not a hardcore Pokemon experience that's gonna be next year. I, I, I had a lot of fun. I got my money I try to think of in terms of like and I know this is not a perfect metric, but this is something that I personally I look at. I need like if I got if I pay sixty bucks in a in a in a game I need to get a solid like 10 to 15 hours of, of fun, like without like hassle, like no hand holding, no long tutorials, no having to unlock a bunch of stuff. I need to get that 10 to 15 hours of like solid fun. So if I get that, I feel like everything after that, like it's just profit, quote unquote. So the game, if I buy like a triple A AAA game, like for 80 bucks and like I, I, I'm struggling to get through like two hours into like seeing what the game is really all about. I feel like I wasted money for no reason. I could buy Hyper Beam, but it's a hundred thousand dollars. I could buy Waterfall for thirty. Oh, that's stupid. Um, <laughs> Hyper Beam's cool because it's if it if you get it because it charges after you. Yeah, hit, but it's dumb because you it, do it it's right. a normal type attack. So it's like it hasn't. It's stupid. It's a dumb move. It's not worth it. Yeah, but it's like the most powerful move in the whole. No, it's not. Game. <laughs> it is not the most powerful move in the game. It's what it's up there. It's in the top no, five. It's a stupid. At least. It's a stupid move. It's dumb. It's dumb. It's not, it's not I'm going to buy it. I'm not going to buy it now, but I'm going to buy it. <laughs> Waterfall is only 30000 though. I would say, uh, especially if you're going to get a lot of Gyarados, water uh, Waterfall is more worth it. Um, but, yeah, I agree with you, Izzy. I think a lot of people don't really feel that way. I, th I feel like a lot of people have, they're more precious with the money that they spend on games. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like even, even compared to, like, what you just said about the 15 hours, like, in terms of, like, is this worth it for me? Um, it, there's another layer that's not there for the for the typical person because it's like I'm happy with a purchase if I really love the game or really hate it. Because <laughs> if, if I really, really hate it, it, huh? If you really hate it, you're happy yeah, with. It. I, I'll continue. If I really hate it, I can make content from it and I can oh, make that money oh, back. Yeah. <laughs> nope, that's, that's smart. smart. That's the that's the problem is that first of all we know a lot about games before we buy right. them. The, the, the three of us. No, the two of you for and, sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not so sure. <laughs> All right, for then us too, then, because <laughs> because we're you know we're we're looking this shit up. We're really interested in this yeah. stuff, and uh, so we really we know about a game before it. We, we we look into it before it comes out. We pretty much know if we're gonna like pretty it. Pretty much. And then um, I buy things the second they come out. So yeah, same or before if it's possible. Be, be, not not necessarily because I want to, but because I need to talk about it. So yeah, I I buy whatever comes out immediately as and you can't out. wait too long because then you miss the train on it exactly exactly so so we're probably i mean i think this game's worth 60 dollars. Yeah. this thing's not going to go down in price for a little oh, it will not in terms of like is this worth the money that you pay for it because for us um 
it's we i pay it, top it, price yeah. for every game that i buy <laughs> we lose money on every like the games that we wait to pay for like if it's a good game and we don't buy it around long, else is gaining money because the price can conceivably go down if they wait for um, so it's like, and right. in that regard, it's hard for us to be like, yes, buy this. No, buy, uh, don't buy this. But as long as you can look from it, from the, uh, the, the guys of like, that's why I try not to like base something on necessarily how much it costs. Like if it costs money, then it's worth me saying, uh, like this has this problem and okay, maybe $5, but it still sucks. Don't buy it. You know, like, because for me, I can't. I can't really look at it from that perspective of like, oh, I paid sixty dollars for this and I feel ripped off because nine times out of ten, I don't fucking pay anything for it. So I had to look at it from there. Nice. Okay, I'm, I'm AJ. I'm just saying. I'm just being honest. <laughs> like, I can't. I can't act like I feel ripped off, you know, because I didn't pay for it. But I... what does a leaf stone and an ice stone? Do? That's for Eevee. Pokemon. You can evolve uh, the low yeah, one. Thought, right? thought it was Eevee. No, not those two. Evolve, uh, with with the ice stone you can't evolve Eevee, uh at all i was about to say in this game but i don't think you can i don't think it evolves at all uh, with the ice stone it evolves with a different uh like a environmental stone thing um but no basically what i'm saying is what no no wait wait huh what the hell do uh, the leaf stone and ice stone do i just told you it evolves certain pokemon you can evolve uh, Tell me the Pokemon. I'm fucking doing it right now. You can evolve Execute with the Leaf Stone. You can evolve Weaving Bell with the Leaf Stone. You can evolve. Who was that other? What was the second one? Uh, Weaving Bell. Okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. And with the Ice Stone, it's basically just a Alolan form. So, like, if you had an Alolan Sandshrew or an Alolan Vulpix, you can evolve them with the Leaf Stone. Ooh, Alolan Vulpix. Yeah. And to get that trade, some that. dude in a Pokemon Center for regular. Shit. Tell me, my hats. <clears throat> tell me, Roges, as too easy. What deck do you play uh, in Magic? I play with a whole bunch. I have like some 30 decks. I think I'm a mono blue control guy. Yeah, somebody somebody guessed it. This is probably mono blue control. And I guess you guys have no clue what those words even mean, do you? I was about to say, it sounds like. I have no freaking idea. Uh, it is Magic is probably the nerdiest shit I do, I think. <laughs> What is the nerd? I might have to buy some sunglasses. I thought you were about to say you might have to buy some Mag Magic the Gathering cards. Me too. I thought I had can I see? I was about to can I see what these sunglasses look like before I freaking no. buy them? Mm -mm. That's dumb. <laughs> That's a rip off. You can Google it. <laughs> it you gotta say Google it. I, you know, I do have the internet. You, know, you heard of it? <laughs> Pretty effective. Oh, I think I want midnight sunglasses. I'm just going to Google sunglasses and Pokemon. Let's go. I can get a little bow. Grimhane says, you need Vulpix, Bob, which is EV exclusive. Better farm in Pokemon Go. I know. I know it. I know that. I want this. What, what type of what type of sunglasses? I had a whole bunch of Vulpix in Pokemon Go, so it wasn't really a problem. I'm just going to roll the dice and get freaking midnight sunglasses. They sound cool. Stream a Yu-Gi-Oh game. Okay. That's probably going to happen. Have to be really... You put the midnight Okay. Let's see. Are they for my Pokemon? Though? <laughs> and it's like literally the only game to come out that week. I still have not played My Hero 1's Justice. Well, I guess that's, that's why. The, there's the glasses right there. I, like I, 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 don't, I don't like dressing the Pokemon up. That's uh, I'm a purist. I don't either, but sunglasses look dope as hell on Pokemon. I don't like the um, the like accessories who fit in this game in general. Like even for the yo, look at look at him with freaking sunglasses on. Come on, man. Silence. <laughs> I don't. Know. No, I, I, nobody's I, on my I, side. Yeah, I was on the stream. I'm not looking. At the... Look at him. He's on. He's on my shoulder with the sunglasses. I see it now. No, because I, I, I was. I can't I, see I, it because Izzy's in the, the way. Izzy's fucking. He's in the way. Talk again, Bob. Scream like you usually do. Uh, you can just click on my on my. Yeah, uh, I know, but I, I Google Hangout window. Make that goof. <laughs> okay, I see it. <laughs> I get a diglet cap. It's okay, I guess. But but ten thousand Poké dollars? That's too much. Yeah, I'm rolling like, in it. That's though. like a hundred dollars. That's not a. Uh... 
a lot of people spend that much on sunglasses. <laughs> That's a tenth of your money. My though. sunglasses are pretty expensive, and I got them uh, stolen from my car uh, last uh, last winter, which sucked. So did you spend more than uh, ten thousand Poké dollars on that? Uh, what's the conversion from? Because uh, it's, 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 it's that's a hundred dollars. It's, it's right? still make believe currencies, Poké dollars and Canadian dollars. So I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I mean that's true. That's very true. I was about to say eh, it's it's based on yen, but there, you know yeah, what? Neither one of them is real. Yeah, exactly. With that logic, yen's not real either. You know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chris Wait. BX says next buy him a handbag and some pearls. Wolf. Oh, yeah, there you go. Get some wolf den. Uh, get get him a wolf den T-shirt. Pikachu took my lemonade when I bought it. That that bastard. <laughs> I'm thirsty. I want something to drink from the vending machine. All right, what do you want? Man? Take a drink. I just buy. Well, her, you had to buy her one of each, and she'll give you a different uh, TM for everything. Oh well, I got. Well, I bought one of each. <laughs> Grimhane says uh, my sunglasses. They weren't stolen. They were taken for glasses preserving. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite. Thank you bastard. Stolen. My favorite thing that was almost stolen from my car was when I, I when I was in college, I had my Jeep and I had the top down and the doors off. Oof. I was really I was really showing off. Yeah. Uh, and I had my uh, I was late to class, so I freaking floored it in there, parked. I had my uh, Microsoft Zune. Oh, so they did your favor. In the so cup holder. Favor. And I was like, eh, no, nah, I'm good. And I left it and I ran. <laughs> To you class. put it in your pocket. Why would you leave it behind? I came back Zune, no about you know it. three hours later. The Zune was unplugged and in my passenger seat. Somebody was <laughs> like, oh, cool, an iPod. <laughs> oh, and threw in the passenger seat. Oh, like, that's the, hilarious. The better thing would have been if they left you like $200 and like, get a fucking iPod, you yeah. stuff. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. The only thing... Uh, like that that's ever happened to me it's like a fucking uh, in, I don't know what grade I was in I was probably like 4th grade something like that and they had fucking show and tell and it was the dumbest shit ever because they had it in like a bucket where it's like here's your sh here's where you put all your show and tell stuff so the teacher can look at it and say yeah. okay this is good yeah. or not uh, and I had a Pokedex and I put that in the fucking show oh, and wow. tell uh, and they took it the kids so took it yeah, and my mom was like, "Don't bring that to school. Somebody's gonna take it." I'm like, "No, he's gonna fucking take it." And somebody took it, you know. So, that right. bastard. So listen I to my thought, mom. <laughs> I saw. Speaking of Pokedex, AJ, I saw this. Uh, I, I think I know the Pokedex you're talking about because I wanted one. Uh, and did, I did like it. calculator with with an yep. ash fucking like a garish ash with the action box. I mean, the action like dialogue thing. <laughs> It's uh, it's the one from Tiger Electronic. Uh, I think that if that's the one I'm. I had that. <clears throat> they had a little. I had that. Yeah, it had a little like a little keyboard at the bottom and stuff. Yeah. I mm -hmm. saw recently. I think it was on Twitter. Somebody modded. That thing was dope as hell. It was. I, I thought it was. I mean, I I didn't have one. I saw it at the Toys R Us, but my dad wouldn't buy it for me. Um, I saw somebody posted a picture. It was either on Instagram or Twitter. It was a guy who modified a uh, case for Switch games to look like a Pokedex. So like, it looks like a Pokedex, you open it and there's like a bunch of little Switch games in there. And I thought it was like an actual product that you could buy and I went crazy, but no, the guy had made it himself. So I was pretty sad. Uh, I think Kevin Kenson has a video with a Pokedex that also works as a Joy-Con grip. Wait, what? Who? I think. Kevin Kenson. Oh, Kevin, yeah, his, his work is great. Kevin Kenson, let me see here. Yeah. I just found out the other day he that he a... followed me. I was very honored. His work is great. Oh, look at that. Uh, go look places. at places. Oh wait, wait. Uh, oh yeah, Kevin Kenson doesn't follow Bob. Of course not. Why would he? Yes, he does. Yeah, exactly. Yes, he does. He follows yeah. Bob. Okay, listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see listen, here, man, Pokemon. Man. Yeah, he's all about the the Switch accessories these days. Uh, Kevin is. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> all about that stuff. Uh, that's a growing uh, hey. field right now on, uh, hey. on YouTube. Who is it? <laughs> Who is it? Oh my god, that's a huge Snorlax. Um, but yeah, I, I love know. that you can ride Snorlax. I want to get one just for that. So dope, it's so dope. It's it awesome. Cool. It looks, it looks dope. The best one is Kangaskhan. That's the best ride. Pokemon. Or Charizard. They're dope for different reasons. Somebody said, is, is Snorlax slow when you ride him? Uh, yeah. Sort of. Yeah. yeah. Not like I think the fastest one is uh, Persian. I think to ride. Yeah, Tr Persian or uh, Persian or Arcanine, the flying Arcanine. Pokemon. Well, I don't know how fast. Uh, Aerodactyl is. I haven't fucking. I haven't. I haven't seen him either. Uh, your wife loves me. Said Izzy stole it from AJ. 
I stole your uh, your Pokedex because my dad wouldn't buy me one. How dare you? How dare you? Um, I've had, uh, even after that, um, and it was it was my dad because my mom's like, I'm not just gonna fucking buy you another oh, one. Oh man, you Chris Holes told you not to put it in the thing. He did it. Speaking of uh, having things stolen in school, which is a traumatic thing, I had uh, I had a, a, an action figure stolen from me from school. Uh, remember the uh, crash test dummies? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I, I traded a something with a buddy of mine from school who had one of the villains from the Crash Test Dummies, and it was a toy made of like car parts. So like his chest is like an engine block, and then like he had like a, a steering wheel on. Like anyway, it was like all made of like, and I thought it was pretty cool. Like I was always a nerdy kid, and like the idea of a robot made up of pieces of uh, of, of of car parts, right? Like it was pretty fun. And then somebody uh, took it from my from my bag in uh, in school, and I was really sad. But uh, Chris Holes here on the chat, his was way worse. He said some kid stole my DSI in middle school. Then when I confronted him about it, he denied it, and then stole someone else's DSI and put it in my backpack. And then I got accused of stealing it. Oh, that's shit. that's messed up. This guy's a criminal mastermind back in high school, like middle middle school, even worse. Uh, update: Is is he currently in jail? <laughs> I should hope. Probably. Uh, <laughs> uh, but no, I had, there was, because there was this other Pokedex after that, um, that it came with, or not, it came with a couple of Pokemon, but it, it, it was like alongside a line of Pokemon that it like read, like, because you know in the show where it's like, if you point at the Pokemon, it's like, what Pokemon yeah. is in there like fucking Electrode? He does probably. Oh, I see, I see the accessory that uh, you're talking about with Kevin, and yeah, it's, it's clearly 3D printed this one, it looks like, and it has spaces for, uh, for uh, Switch games, that's pretty cool. But it works as the uh, like, Etsy thing. yeah, probably an Etsy thing. You're right, and it's a grip. I don't want a grip. I want just a straight up like little case. This, this is cool. This is three people. I came here on vacation with my brother and my boyfriend, just the oh, three yeah. of us, in Saladon City, beautiful. And then you go to the kid. And the kid's like, "Yippee! I'm on vacation. My big sis brought me along. She's the best." Then you go to the boyfriend. Why? Why did she bring her brother along too? <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. <clears throat> that's that's one of those things that not only you know how Pixar does that layered shit where it's like for kids it's like oh that's funny because it sounds stupid and then adults are like oh shoot like I can't believe they put that in there that's funny for that yeah yeah, yeah. that's kind of like that but it's like the kid is mad at, like it changes who you're mad at as you get older <laughs> you know because it's like as a kid you're like man that dude is a fucking asshole and then you look at it and then you read it now as an adult and you're like oh, oh, did you guys see that in the chat uh, Assassin's Creed compilation for PS4 uh, Switch and Xbox One potentially leaked as your oh, collection yeah. apparently switch. for the Switch yeah mm -hmm. That's what piqued my uh, my interest. I'm not a huge Assassin's Creed guy, but if it comes out on the Switch, I'm buying it. Don't touch the posters in the game corner. Oh, I gotta go to the game corner. Uh, who watched Spawn Wave, uh, the Spawn cast yesterday? Because I was I was supposed to, but I didn't. Um, he said he was gonna <laughs> leak something on purpose. Does anybody know what it is? <laughs> he was uh, he was in on uh, on the announcement for Pokemon Let's Go uh, that day. Like, remember? Before? He's in on every day. He's in on every. He's always so. I I, I believe. Uh, so no, I didn't I didn't see the uh, I didn't see it yesterday. But if he if he's saying that he he knows about it, then I believe it. Your wife loves me. Says AJ. What region you think Gen Eight might be? Uh, it's it's going to be a new region. Um, where? Or what would it be based on? Who knows? It'd be dope if they did something like crazy different, though. Like, they could do like Africa would be a dope because it's so like, diverse and you could do a lot of different uh, Pokemon with that. They've been doing a lot of tropical shit. I don't know. <laughs> we got enough. How, how do I get this freaking guy to leave? Do, uh, do I have to look like a Team Rocket guy? Uh, the guy in the game corner. Uh, you gotta beat the gym first. Did you uh, gotta beat the gym. There's a gym. That's usually how it goes in this game. I couldn't find the gym. It's down. Go down. Uh, over. And there's a tree that you cut. Oh, here's a tree. Hello. Cut that. But not even just this oh, gym. This is... You have to beat this gym, and then you gotta go to Lavender. And then there's gonna be like a fucking... 
cutscene. Yeah, probably just beating the gym. Right, this is a grass gym, right? I could just freaking yeah. just burn the whole thing to the ground. Yeah. Oh, I can't use scald though. That won't work. Nope. <laughs> you could burn him with scald, but True. it wouldn't do that much damage. At least the initial attack wouldn't. I need my. Do I have my type? I don't even have my type chart. Oh no! What am I gonna do? LinkedIn. I clicked on LinkedIn. Why is that even in my bookmark bar? Did you guys see the thing on Reddit? Uh, somebody posted. I think it was on Reddit that uh, Alexa, if you ask her like which Pokemon are, be are like best against which, she'll actually answer. So like people. Oh are, yeah. So like people are actually playing with Alexa like right next to them as if it's an actual Pokedex. Oh my god! I should. Hook That's that pretty up. cool. Um, I think the game does that. Uh, but the Cyberquake says you have to go to the tower in Lavender Town. You don't need this gym right now. That's not true. So let me see your party here. Mew, Pikachu, I'm sorry, Charmeleon, War Turtle, and Onyx. Pretty decent. Pretty decent spread. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> I'm going to steal your, your party. I, I mean, I have all those Pokemon, and my party's like half of that. I have the Onyx because I love riding it. War Turtle, uh, Charmeleon. And Pikachu Mew is not is in the box. And uh, for grass, I have uh, Gloom, which I like. And uh, I forget what else is my party. I've always been partial to to uh, Gloom. And what's the next evolution? I forget. Uh... It has two evolutions. Yeah, the the next the, the last evolution, the last Oddish evolution is uh, what is it? I oh, forget. I can click but on there, this right and, here. In this game, there's just one because it has branching evolutions. In this game, it's oh. one, but in Johto. Uh, they introduced Blossom, who's in Smash Brothers, put you to sleep. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Holy crap, yeah. Uh, Oddish is so goddamn cute. I love Oddish. With, with a little happy face. Yeah. And then you evolve him, and yeah. he's this miserable, disgusting thing. Oh, wait a second. So Blossom is not... I don't think I've ever seen... Yeah, I didn't see Blossom. So, yeah, Blossom's not on this guy. It's Vileplume. Uh, and it, he only evolves with the, with the Leaf Stone to Vileplume, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. I because... see. Well, that obviously it's not the reason because Blossom didn't exist yet. But in uh, starting with Gen two, you could either evolve it with a Sunstone or a Grass Stone. Or oh. a Sorry, Gen Gen two, really? Oh wow. Yeah. I didn't know Blossom was okay. Right on. So really, all I have to uh, really Charmeleon is the only thing that's going to do anything. Him and Mew. Yeah, but, but, Mew's but you can complete moves. like you can devastate a uh, aggress gem with just a Charmeleon, no problem. I think. The sign you... says, "I am right now in Rocket Hideout without doing the gym." You are wrong, AJ. I literally beat this game and have every Pokemon in the game. You are better off beating Celadon first and then going to Team Rocket and then going to Zagro. I mean, I'm just I'm just gonna fight the gym. <laughs> I don't know which one I'm supposed to do first. But I'm just going to fight the gym. Because I, I feel like I could just tear through this gym. Oh, I, I believe you can. With a 30 Charmeleon, I think you can. My freaking Mew, though, has got shitty moves. This game is like... On? Well, not just this game specifically, but Gen 1 is set up in a way that you can, like, uh, sequence. But, so you can do... If you do um, the Pokemon Tower first, you can go straight to Saffron. Even though Saffron is supposed to be your sixth gym badge. But you can do Saffron before you do your fifth. Oh. <clears throat> I want to get to uh, to Lavender Town already. See if it's as creepy on uh, Let's Go as it was back in the Game Boy. It's not. The song, it's not? Them adding to the song kind of... <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, you guys know uh, Justin Wang, uh, the YouTuber. He does a lot of like internet stories, gaming mysteries. I did a collab with him a few months ago about Lavender Town, and I didn't know this until we did the research for that collab. But they changed the music uh, back and forth from the in between generations, which I didn't know. Yeah, and it's it's less creepy. It's less. Uh, you know. I think I think they changed it because there was like reports of kids having seizures from this girl wants to pet my mule. Or getting it was Should no, they were getting mule? like there was a she pet my yeah, mule. Yeah, there was a so we, we covered that in the in the video. Basically there was a, an urban myth that kids were uh, committing suicide because yeah. of uh, of Lavender Town, the music, but turns out there was no like it was really just an urban legend. There was no like right. spike in in, in uh 
in suicides or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, but, that yeah. but that stuck, right? Like that story stuck. And then exactly. people always got those stories confused because there was a lot of, I don't know if you read like creepypastas and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. For those who don't know, creepypastas are basically like short horror stories that became very popular on places like 4chan and Reddit and stuff like that. And there are quite a few creepypastas about video games, like haunted cartridges and things like that. So there are a few about Pokemon, like there's one called Pokemon Black, which is very unsettling. And uh, so pe in people's memories, at least that's what I found in the research, it seems like a lot of the stories people told about like what happened to kids that played Pokemon and killed themselves because of Lavender Town, like the music, they were like the stories were kind of like getting mixed together with like certain creepy bosses what happened. Yeah. The Cyberquake said, selling song. The Cyberquake said, AJ, I said you were wrong because you said you have to do the gym. I was saying you don't have to do the gym to unlock Team Rocket Hideout and then you said that was wrong. I'm saying to Bob, who I am speaking to, that he has to do it. You're forgetting who I'm talking to. Somebody that Ooh. is not good at Pokemon. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. I mean, you hey. asked me where to go, so clearly. Hey. <laughs> Excuse you. I mean, I mean. Oh, I'm going to learn slam. Okay. Oh, no. Don't I? Doesn't that hurt me? No. Oh, slam. this is, this is a... Uh, Thinking... This is know, Onyx, the actually. Thing? The target is slammed with a long or... tail, vines, or or the like to inflict damage. Uh, slam, I mean, you can do slam for type coverage if you want. Oh, I gave up. Fuck. Did you erase for slam? I didn't erase anything. I screwed up. I wanted to read what slam did, and then I said, okay. Oh, and I, instead of clicking okay, I clicked give oh, up. You, you got rid of yep, slam. Yep, he did. For getting a move. Yeah, he, oh, you messed up. Wait, did I get rid of Slam? Give up on the No, move. I didn't get rid did of you, Slam. Did you, let's see here. I gave up on learning the move, is what happened. Yeah, okay, yeah. I stayed here. Because I'm watching through the stream so that I can keep up with the chat, and then I'm I'm seeing it now. Well, I hope that's a TM. Did not learn Slam. Reminds of that, uh, I think, uh, the Space Jam song. Oh my god, I got this. There's this, so there's a streamer. Speaking of screwing up menus... There's this streamer who's been trying to catch a shiny Mewtwo. Oh, I saw Did you hear that. About I this? saw that. The video's kind of uh, hard to watch because she's screaming quite a bit. No, no, no. This is uh, this this happened like today or yesterday. This is different. Oh, there's another one. This, yeah, this guy. Um, okay, let's see. He's been trying. He, he was on like his 500th time trying to freaking, oh, uh, catch this Mewtwo, and he was talking to somebody that's in the room with him. Oh no. And he was, you know, he saved his save file was standing in front of the Mewtwo. So he'd go into the battle, realize it's not shiny, mm -hmm. close the game, open it again, realize it's not a shiny, close the game, open it again. And on like 500 and something time, he was talking to somebody, it was shiny, and then he backed out of the game and closed it. Oh, no. Because <laughs> he was on muscle memory. And the guy he was with was like, no! <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I, 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 I and, I, I and he's still trying. Seen, uh, a shiny, uh, a shiny Pokemon ever in Pokemon. In game? I haven't. Even. I don't think I've ever seen it. There's that classic video of a guy, in the wild. and I've never seen it at all. There's a video of a guy. This is a classic, really old video of a guy. He's playing Pokemon on three GBSBs, trying to get a shiny Ponita, and he finds it and he loses oh, yeah. shit. I remember that. Um, I saw this girl on Twitter. That's the one I saw, and it's unbearable. The uh, the which one you're talking about? The one from with the drowsy. Uh, yes, the draw. I'm pretty sure it's the draw. Yeah, game. yeah. So she, cause, and I, I talked about this in my in one of my Pokemon Let's Go videos. People don't understand that it's pretty obvious when a Pokemon's about to run because they do a different animation where it's like, oh shit, I'm done with this battle. I'm about to get out of here. But oh, you have you a chance to run before they run and then re-engage. Oh. Um, but she was throwing the Pokeball, and every single one she missed because she's losing her goddamn mind. Missed and Drowsy <laughs> yeah. just eventually got tired of her shit and dipped. <laughs> and she she was just so upset because she was working for that shiny for forever. And now her chain's broken. She doesn't have the shiny she just ran into. I showed you AJ that this the guy who uh, did I send it to you? This guy who got ran into a shiny Mewtwo, but none of his Pokemon were high enough level, and he just got obliterated by the shiny Mewtwo. <laughs> Yeah, I, and you have four minutes to catch the Mewtwo, and he ran out of time and it freaking ran away. Across all the games that I've played, I've had, I'd say at least one shining per generation, starting with Gen 2, because that's when it started. <laughs> um, and I never I'm, grinded for it. 
it was always just like happenstance. I feel like it's cooler that way, you know. People are asking, so I'm just gonna play the video of the this guy losing his. Uh, yeah, put it up. I want to see that. I don't think I saw that. You one. guys won't get any audio, but the chat will. I finally made it with like a minute, with like a minute, two, one or two minutes left on the on the. I feel. Like I can barely hear myself. I should stream more. There it is. Oh, he closed. It. Oh my god. He he doesn't even stop looking at his friend. He's like a oh, he like doesn't even realize what happened. Right. He's looking. To, he's looking, and then he doesn't even understand what happened. He, he probably thought for a while that it crashed. Right. Oh wow. Well, he pro he just doesn't realize what he did. Rip. Yikes. The shiny I got in uh, and I think I told you this already, Bob. And uh, Heart Gold was fucking Whooper, and I put him immediately in the box. <laughs> oh, Heart Gold! Oh my God, okay. Whooper though! Hold on, I, I think this is gonna be louder. Let me play it again. Heart Gold is so awesome. It. it is. With like a minute, with like a minute, two, one or two minutes left on the on the on the gate, like a freaking boss. Did that tell what the old lady said to me when I got on the flight? I heard you say, "Oh, Nick." You just... That sucks. What? <laughs> He's like, what? What happened? What? That sucks. Destroyed. Rip. That's, uh, who is this? Fire Dragon on Twitch. <laughs> Effing rip. Wrecked. I gotta put my Charmeleon in the front because uh, there's no reason oh to have you two in the front. Seeing, oh, that, seeing that again is painful. <laughs> you can. Did you, oh, know you wow. have psychic attacks that yet? Sucks. Yeah, I'm using Psywave. You can use uh, Mew against like Gloom and Oddish because they're part poison. Also, like Weeping Bell and so on. Ooh, so, good thinking. What are you guys excited for? I mean, outside of Smash, which is the obvious one, what are you guys excited for the Switch in the near future? I'm gonna play friggin' Super Mario U. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, that's coming out. I forgot about that. In January. Nice. I guess I'll fucking play Fire Emblem. I don't know. Uh, Fire Emblem. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm, I I want to play Yoshi. I, I'm pretty excited for that. Um, I don't know when Animal Crossing is coming out, but it sounds. Like I don't it's think there's a date. Out. I don't think there's a date yet. Uh, yeah. I'm excited for uh, what's it called the uh, Everspace coming out uh, on the 11th. It's like Ooh, a, what is it's like a, it's like a space sim with like combat and like economy where you're mining asteroids and selling it in planets or space stations where it's more expensive kind of thing. There used to be a, a mobile game called Galaxy on Fire 2, which I played. It was probably the phone game I played the most. I actually beat the game, which to me it's saying a lot. I have some 15 hours into the game, beat the story, beat like the the DLC, and it's a lot of fun. Like just traveling through space and then like you pick up missions. You know, there's like escort like escort missions where you're supposed to protect a like a capital, a huge capital ship. There's ones where you're supposed to hunt a certain pirate, so you're just like cruising around. And all of a sudden, there's like the pirate that you've been hunting for like a couple of missions back. But you finally bump into them. You're supposed to like kill them and take his stuff to like the nearest space station to like prove that you got him like for the bounty, or you know stuff like that. Is that for other consoles? Uh, so Galaxy on Fire was originally on mobile. I think it is on other consoles. There is a Galaxy on Fire on the Switch, but it's called Manticore, and it's widely regarded as not as good because they stripped down the game quite a bit. Like the mobile version was awesome. It was so it had so much debt, uh, depth, and the, the the Switch version ironically felt more like a mobile port because they stripped a lot of the features that made the game fun. I still have it on my phone. I played it every now and again, <clears throat> and I've been dying for a game like that on the Switch. That's what I wanted for so long. And then this is coming out now. It's on. It's on pre-release right now. I think it's like twenty percent off or whatever. So I got It's forty bucks. I gotta buy it already so that it's when gotta, it's out. Like um, ready to go. I'm gonna check with Logan to see how that is because they actually sent that to us. No way. Yeah, uh, but I sent it to Logan because he cares more about that type of shit. Oh, I love that stuff. Uh, every space, like on, uh, it's like it's it seems like a decent game. It has a 78 on Metac Metacritic, seven out of ten on Steam. Uh, and the the Switch version, I'm not sure what's the de like. It's probably the usual stuff, right? Like you know all the DLC or whatever. I don't know. Uh, I, mean, what I, can, I can hook you up with their Evo if you want. Yeah. Oh, dude, dude, I I absolutely want it. Give it God damn. Give it to me now. Okay. <laughs> For real, I'll go. That Odyssey is. Yeah. I'm fucking... 
hook you up. For real, I'm getting my Switch. I'm very serious. I'll, I'm going to DM you right now. Hi. Grab, grab it right now. I missed what Pokemon she's taking out. Yeah, I've been dying for a game like that on the Switch, and there's a few coming out, but that's the, the one that's coming out the first. And Everspace is supposed to be a pretty decent one. There's one called uh, Rebel Galaxy Outlaws as well, but there's no, uh, they, they haven't said when it's coming out yet, so who knows when that's coming out. Nintendo eShop. <clears throat> yeah, it's called a Stellar Edition. What is it? What is it? What is it? Weeping Bell. Oh, that's just a regular uh, grass type. Grass and poison. Oh, okay. I will switch. I was looking forward to Warframe, and I haven't. I've, ever since I made that video, I haven't touched it because I haven't had time to do it. Warframe is the kind of game that I would be all over some like five years ago when i was all about like third person shooters especially third person shooters that have melee combat as well like i'm a huge matrix fan right so any game that has that it takes me back yeah. to the matrix uh, i like shooters that have melee combat also like like destiny that's why i like destiny so much because you have to use all of your abilities oh you, you like know. destiny you didn't mention it in the video about warframe i didn't know shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I liked one from the for the PS2 that was a really crappy game, but again, it was right around the time when Matrix was huge. It was called uh, Oni. It was very like Ghost in the shell -y for the PS2. Yeah, that was with the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and I, I loved it, even though it was like a really crappy game. It was like the, the levels were so <laughs> empty. It was it, it felt like you're going from like one warehouse to the next, and there was almost nothing. There was like a bunch of crates, and that's it, and like bad guys, but it was like the design was dumb. But I love the fact that you could shoot people and actually fight them. Uh, Fighting Force on the PS1, same thing. You get, you know, like guns and you get the, uh, the the melee combat. I'm all about games like that. But again, like Warframe, I, I gotta I gotta put some more time into it. I played two missions yesterday, and I again had a lot of fun. The controls are tight, like the aiming with the with the motion controls feels just right, and it looks gorgeous on 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 portable mode, right? But uh, the, mm -hmm. the menus could be a little. Um, the menus could be a little bit. I mean, they're they're obviously not meant for a small for a small screen, right? Like they, you need to like. There's a lot of reading. There's a lot of small text, so it probably looks better on on a TV. But I have. It's complex as hell. It's really complex. Yeah. All right. I'm trying to fight every single person in this gym that I can, because I need that XP, baby. What's he getting you right now? I'm hooking him up with uh, the contact that I had. Well, I'm gonna. I sent you the. Oh, for that game. But I'm gonna send you the the, the rep that I talked to. Email to. So. Missing first name. Oh, I'm put the. There you go. Create cam. Izzy, everyone wants you to fix your webcam. Oh, is my webcam done? With it? Oh, yeah, I see it now. Very go. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Grim, uh, Grim Hain says, okay, is it because you're like Oni, I won't pirate your game. You shouldn't, it's so cheap and it's a fun game. Yeah, he kept saying, uh, because I said you, we, I think we talked about you being on here. He's like, uh, make sure everybody pirates 99 Vitas because Izzy likes to, uh, pirate his emulators. Hey, guys, that's a whole, wrong, okay, so. hey, hey, give me a second here. <laughs> <laughs> the game is still available. It's 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 cheap as hell, okay? And and I still need to put put food on the table. But the people who made Adventure for the Atari 2600, I'm I'm I'm, I'm sure they're okay. All right? So don't give me that. I'm not letting this genie out of the bottle. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, streamer YouTube content creator. Me me me. me. <clears throat> She's so smug. Uh, Warframe is the killer app for the Switch right now, in my opinion, says Ben Gillette. Yeah, I agree. You must not. Smash Bros. is going to take over the goddamn world. Saying, you must not have Smash Bros. staring at you like it is me. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I might buy Smash Brothers. 
Oh no, no, no! I'm not, I'm not having that shit. You talk way too much <laughs> shit for you to not buy Smash Brothers immediately. I, we'll see. <laughs> what? Let's see here. How much is? It? Let's see. Coming. Soon. Oh, I'm gonna learn Razor. Oh, here we go. Yay. Here we go, Izzy. Again with the. With, remember Wolf Den Live, Bob? Remember that? Remember we were supposed to? No, I don't remember what you talking about. Remember we had Izzy on Wolf Den Live that one time and he fucking chickened out. Looks, look, looks like it's a trend. I have work. <laughs> Don't you be besmirching my good name. Hey, yeah. I mean, you're, you're doing it yourself. By yeah, trying like to, I might buy Smash Brothers. I have the tweets, Izzy. I have a, yeah. a digital paper trail. Oh, those are hacks. Uh, yeah, it looks like a pretty okay game, I guess. Should I get rid of Tackle for Razor Leaf? Or... Yes, you should, of course. Wait, what do you, you have? Like... He's tackle for what? Tackle for Razor Leaf. You still have tackle. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Go back. Wait, what else do you have? Go back. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, I would say uh, tell Vine what the fuck off. Because it's redundant to have both of those. True. Let's just run attack power 45, 55. That's true. All right. I love Vine Whip's going. I love uh, the Leech Seed type moves. I absolutely love them. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that good but I, it is cool to have to be able to take their hp yeah it's not it's it's a good move it's just not necessary in, in this uh format <laughs> where you're just battling i'd um, get rid of tackle for sure you know when i when regular pokemon games i like having a move like tackle just so i i like having at least one weak move why yeah i mean not even just for, for that, capturing like, pokemon capture, but of course yeah f for this I don't really need that, tackle but makes... but it is nice to have a move that's not your type, in case you're you're in a bind. Yeah. And Everybody you're on up the chat something. thinks you're crazy for keeping all this late in the game, and I have to agree. Um, I would say in that scenario, just because your only other attacking move is a weaker grass type attack, it doesn't make sense to to have Razor Leaf and also Vine Whip and also Leech Seed. But forget like disable and stuff. I like having a variety of types of yeah. moves, like the type. Yeah, was, so I'm having a normal, because like if I'm up against a Charmeleon and all I got is my freaking uh, Bulbasaur or whatever the hell that was, Venusaur, Ivysaur, I'm, Ivysaur, I'm <laughs> and that's all I got, then I'm not using freaking grass moves. Fair enough. You know? Fair enough. I'm about to lose my Charmeleon. Right Eventually, now. he's going to get takedown, and then that will replace tackle, and then you'll be good. But having Vine Whip go, in Razor I always forget. Uh, how do you pronounce that Pokemon? Tangela, Tangela? I always forget that's a Gen 1 Pokemon. Tangela. Yeah. Tangela. Tangela. I mean, let's fucking ask Anthony Carboni. Maybe he knows. Maybe he fucking knows how to say it. Leech Seed is really an attack, though. I mean, it, it works as an attack. Like, it, it's better than attack because it keeps you leech them, and then you're constantly healing up your Pokemon and chipping away at their life. I love, I love stuff like that. Uh, yeah. For my money, it's it's a great move. I'm not down with Leech Seed in the main game because it's unnecessary. But if I'm battling people, then Leech Seed is good. Your wife loves me pointed out. Bob, you'd get wrecked though. Charmeleon versus Ivysaur, lol. That's true, yeah, but you have a better chance. You get wrecked regardless. <laughs> there, are, there are times when like, um, I've been up against like, Pokemon that are way weaker, mm -hmm. like lower level, but have the type advantage. Right. And like in a, at a time like that. Yes. It's That's good to have right. a move that is a different type. Fair enough. I mean, I I, I love my Leech Seed and uh, all those drains. I love that stuff. Yeah, I kept I kept that shit. It's good. It's good stuff, man. I like uh, I like hacks. Like I said, I like hacks moves better against like fucking people. Cause like for my uh, Lapras, I have like the fucking like pretty typical in VGC sort of thing where it's like you want to try to flinch them and paralyze them so like for my uh fucking um Lapras it has like the combo of like nice. uh body slam which has a chance of paralyzing uh -huh. and then you have fucking what is I don't feel like looking for his moveset but he has like a combo of attacks that you can both paralyze and flinch so it doubles up the chance that they can't move <laughs> nice I'll tell you what Some, I always Somebody's got to read what Eric said. Eric, it's very important. Uh, Eric, said, Eric says, 
Bob usually see it on my bank account with all this quality apparel. Damn right, you can get it at wolfdenapparel.com. W L F F D E N A P P A R E L. I had to read that. Dot com. W O L F. Such a pro. <laughs> Such a pro. Like this thing. hat beanie. Oh, wow. Well, you know what? Oh, it's too slouchy, I feel like, right now. I got to put it over my head. Here you go. Oh, um, it's, wait, uh, let me see if this is, it's uh, got... Oh, my God. Because <laughs> if it's not, I'm oh buying God. it. <laughs> <laughs> I want that. Uh, I, I want to get that. Um, it's not. It's called? not. Hold the on, Game Boy go, inspired. Like go to domain. <laughs> Game Boy inspired. What are you looking at? My girlfriend is on the chat. She just messaged me on Telegram saying, uh, "Get uh, trade a chancy with Bob for me because she's been trying to get a chancy for a while." I, I mean, is chancy on? It's only on. Yo, I have like forty thousand chancies. I'll yeah, trade you a chancy right now. Yeah, give me one. Give me one so I can give it to her. <laughs> she's like, she's been begging me for a chancy for a while. Does she have the Eevee version? She has the Eevee, yeah. Give me a goddamn Alolan uh, Vulpix. <laughs> you can get Alolan Vulpix in, in this game. That's a boot up, this thing. I, I thought that was an exclusive. Which uh, which uh, Joy-Cons are you rocking, AJ? Uh, I have the Neon Joy-Con. The Neon nice. Blue. Nice. Pokeball. Press the button. The controller. Oh, oh, Izzy's on. Yes, I, I am on. What's up? That triggers... No, you logged on your switch. I didn't even. I forgot we were friends on uh, on on because I never had anybody. I forgot we were friends too, uh, until I was deleting people for our Splatoon stream last week. Uh, I don't think. And I'm then I almost deleted either. you, and I was like, "Oh wait, that's actually Izzy." <laughs> that's actually Izzy. <laughs> and then I and then I made you a best friend just so that I'll remember hey. that you're you're an actual friend. And that's what I did because eventually I'm going to get somebody to delete all the people on my friends list. So did I you can ever just be like? <laughs> So I can do you just be like, don't go to my bad friend. Do you Whatever. put your uh, your uh, friend like your friend code on your on on anywhere? Unfortunately, yeah, I have it in the description. Yeah, because that's the thing. I have I have it in the description of our multiplayer. Yeah, because then then you, so you have the same like friend request ninety nine plus forever, yeah. right? Rick. Yes. Rick. Yes. Not, this is triggering my OCD. I have to plus. delete them because they fill up. And people can't add me anymore. I never even put it. I think it was the guys from my podcast. Like one day, just I had a whole bunch of requests, and it wasn't me. So I'm thinking it was the guys from my podcast, the guys from 99 Vitas. See, the thing that oh. though is that you can reissue your your friend code, but I just never. I, I don't know why. I just kind of don't want to do it. <laughs> I just rather delete everybody and then reissue. I don't think we're friends. Well, on, that's uh, good. On I didn't know you thing. could do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you my uh, my friend code, AJ. Okay, cool. I mean, we don't have to do that, but cool. Uh-oh, someone's in the chat. Oh, one nine. We add each other to do that? Huh? We don't have to add each other to, to friends list to, to no, trade on. No, Pokemon, you just put in the code. Here, but I mean, you could but the code is only like three, like, wait. Oh, oh, it's it's a uh, uh, luck of the draw, baby. <laughs> if I go play with others, and then I go to Link Trade, a uh, faraway player, and, and then, then I go to if you, put, if you put a code that's like not like fucking Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Pikachu, you're gonna be able to link up with whoever you want. Okay, well here we go. I'll give you I'll give you the code. Here we go. It's gonna be this. Okay, wait. No, I just went to go into your friend code. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> we might as well do this. Well, right. Hold on, DM it to me. I was about to say, fucking tell me your friend code, but that's not a smart idea. All right, got it. Well, we can fucking do the thing. All right, so got here. Play with others. Okay, let me get this chancy because the girl's gonna be happy tonight when she comes home. Oh, she's she's watching. She's watching. She's 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 in the chat. Yeah. Okay. Shh, she might hear us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's do some like dumb shit, you know, like Rattata, uh, Diglett, Diglett. That's the code. Diglett, Rattata, Diglett, Diglett. Okay, Rattata, Diglett, Diglett. You got it. Wait a second. Wait a second. Delete. Diglett, Diglett. It seems like it's not enough variables for you to find the person you're trying to, right? Like, yeah, you would think that, but 
it, it seems works. like most people are going for the like the like the more popular po see like we just immediately <laughs> yeah right away aj let's see chancy oh wow what do you want yeah, I have what a do lot you of fucking chancy I got, uh, I got a, uh, I got a. What's, uh, what's the collective of uh, Radita? I have a, a murder of Raditas. I don't know. A, uh, <laughs> a murder. <laughs> what do you call it? Since I'm I, gonna, I'll, I'll send you. Wait, can I? No, I don't think I can do that. Let's see. I got. Uh, let's see what I, I got. I don't think I have anything cool. It doesn't matter. You can just send me whatever. I'm just trying uh, to send you a good one. I'll send you a nice Pidgeotto. All right, I have fought every single trainer in this gym Operate except for the gym leader, so I am going to go to the po I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center, uh, heal up, and come problem. right back. I finally have a. I, I'm. I, you know what? I'm gonna sell her this Chansey. <laughs> Trade <laughs> Pokemon. Oh wait, attention, communicate. Okay, there you go. It probably will. What are we starting? You know, let's let's have her bid against the people in the chat. <laughs> yeah. As far as I know, right, this got, is my Natalia? best chancy in terms of IVs and all that shit. Take, take good care. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna give her my chancy because your chancy looks like it's better. <laughs> <laughs> what? You had one the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> You're a one. bastard. I'll have the one, and he has a thousand chancies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, this is this deal is getting worse and worse all the time, man. <laughs> I have so many chancies. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Let's see if she's in a minute. She's like, get Bob, get chance, get a chance here from Bob. And uh, okay, so let's see here. Okay, the trade will win. Here we go. Let's see this chancey here. Leonardo Andre asks, how can I silence my Pokeball Plus? So if you press on the button and hold it, it's gonna turn off like the active Pokemon or whatever you call that mode. So it's not gonna be like chirping at you all the time. Or does he mean like silence Pokeball while you're playing? Because I don't think you can do that. Uh, I, I think that pressing both buttons at the same time does it. Does it? Oh, okay. Let me sort these alphabetically. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, she's she's giving me trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, what you've lied like, to me this what? whole time? Oh my God! Is he gonna give me your crappy chance? <laughs> Oh my god, the drama, ah, man. It's unfolding real life. So you actually told her you didn't have No, I, I, you know what? I'm not going to say anything because I think I'm going to I'm gonna make things worse for myself. I'm just going to say I have a chance. <laughs> she said, oh, you lied to me this whole time. Oh my god, there's no happy girl tonight. I'm so mad. <laughs> you got the disabled chancy. For some <laughs> you know what? I'm thinking, yo, Natalia, I'm thinking she actually traded my chancy while I was asleep or something because I'm not finding the other chancy. So what happened here? Uh oh. I think I got. You both are. You, you're both scheming. I got. I got. Uh, I got. Uh, how, what would you even call it? like my chancy got kidnapped? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Oh no, because I was looking at the Pokedex. That's why only one would show up. That's right. That's right. Of course. Alphabetically, here we go. Where's the alphabetic? Uh, by species name. So if you buy the C. Oh, there it is. There's the chancy. So I have one. Okay, okay. I got, I got your chancy. Don't worry. <laughs> oh man. Thank you for the chancy, AJ. This is great. No problem. I got a thousand pidgeys. I'm always down to fucking barter off my chancy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love this game so much. How many chance? I don't even feel like opening the game again. But I have like. 999 of all the like health candies just because of how many chances I have. Oh wow. I didn't, I never use my candies, man. I have so many. Yeah, same. It's a waste of time. I don't have time for that shit. Oh crap. You know what she said? She said, I left my Switch at home. Oh my god, I feel so vulnerable right now. Oh, I could use an EV. <gasps> oh, can you imagine? <laughs> so free. Dude, shoot. Okay, I'm going to tell you a story. So Natalia is a pretty big gamer, right? And she loves these games like, you know, like the Pokemons, the Animal Crossing, things like that, right? So uh, she, I, I, I bought her a 3DS and she had Animal Crossing. And we're playing together, like visiting each other's towns and like doing stuff like that. And I had a buddy from Twitter who had like, I don't know, like 400 hours into the game. And he would invite me to his town to just give me items and game and, uh, and, and money and stuff. So what we would do is, because she also won, she's very competitive with like, you know, 
a, she's a hoarder in these games, right? So she wants the most stuff she can get. So the guy would open his uh, town for the both of us, and we'd pretty much be doing. You remember the game show where like people are running down supermarket aisles, grabbing stuff into their carts and supermarket suite. Yes, exactly. It was like that, but in Animal Crossing. So we're running all over this guy's town, getting all the money. And I, I forget what happened that she couldn't log in right away or she was like, for some reason she was slow. And I grabbed most of it. She got so upset that I got all of the stuff that she didn't want to play the game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and to this day, I don't think she's ever booted up the game again. So I better give her this chance here or, or else. I don't steal my Pokemon. Oh, man. She... Eric said there's a pretty good chancy you got robbed. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, you go, like, your girlfriend goes to work, she comes back, and, like, she goes to her Pokemon, and all of her is in her ball, just, like, a bunch of Metapods and, like, Beedrills or whatever. <laughs> Eric said, you bought her a 3DS? I apologize on behalf of all guys. Hey, man, 3DS is great. <laughs> it's a good thing you have 99 Vitas, Izzy, because your girlfriend's gonna kill you for hiding that chance from her. I didn't hide it from her. I, I'm pretty sure I remember telling her I had just the one. Yeah, just now. Just no. <laughs> oh, there you go. It, it, it worked. Oh, I wonder what, what, what Koopo... The only Pokemon I would steal is Eevee, but then she would kill me. I don't think you can steal it. Oh, that, that would ruin her game. Because then she can't play with Eevee. I'm pretty sure. You can't trade Eevee, right? You can. You can trade a Eevee, but I don't think you can trade her Eevee. Like if... Oh, if you trade the, uh... the, the partner Pokemon. Ah. That'd be hilarious. Well, that's good, because accidentally trading them. I'd be just like, what happened? I guess your Eevee ran away. I don't know. And then I have a brand new Eevee for some reason. It would still be on her head, though. She says, I was sleeping in, uh, and woke up. Uh, stole, he stole all my money in Animal Crossing. That's not fair. That's not true. It wasn't your money. It wasn't your money. It was my buddy's money that he left around his town for the both of us to get. If you didn't get to it in time, that's not my fault. I love Weeping Bell. Sounds like you got had. Yeah, she got had. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she even wants to play the new one. Oh man, Animal Crossing on the Switch is gonna be great. I know it. I wouldn't want to play any game with you. Why? <laughs> After that. Hey man. Oh it's shit. All What's fair in, uh, in Love War and Animal Crossing? Okay. I'm curious to see which one out of Pokemon and Animal Crossing is gonna sell more. Oh. This is supposed to be a gloom, and it's a vile plume. And I, oh, I, I want to stick Pokemon because I think Pokemon has a like the brand is stronger than Animal Crossing. I do, I don't know. I, I don't know because <laughs> Animal Crossing the past couple entries are like neck and neck with Pokemon. Like Pokemon games usually sell around really? like fourteen ish million units. Animal Crossing's around that same <laughs> ballpark, really? and that's just with one game. Like Pokemon is kind of. Uh, it kind of fluffs the numbers a little bit because they combine the two skew and a lot of people buy both. And with true. Animal Crossing, it That's sells true. that many with just that one game. <laughs> I'm going to finish him off with Charmeleon for the XP. Golden Ball Gaming, uh, Golden Boy Gaming S. Can I get a shout out, please? There you go. No. Oh, he that just... No. Bob just, uh, you, just took you, it back. Yeah, after, yeah, after that. Is he uh, committed a party fail? Yeah. That's what? I can't give the guys. Okay, I'm taking it back. You, you gotta read blank. Can oh, I get a shout out? Oh, and then you say no. Get the memo. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't read shout outs because you inherently get a shout out if you make an interesting comment. Like, just fucking contribute and people are gonna say your name. Yes. Blank. You can't be doing that. I feel, I feel, I feel manipulated here. Somebody ban him. My Charmeleon's <laughs> getting wrecked right now. Uh, a bad idea. Loves me. Oh my Wait, god, he died. Are you talking Gen 8 versus Animal Crossing? That's a good point. Are you talking like... Yeah, I'm talking Gen 8 versus Animal Crossing. Okay. Because I, I strongly believe that both... I mean, both of them are going to sell phenomenal. But it's just like, no, which yeah, one no, is no, going to edge it out? No, no. I'm very excited for Animal Crossing on the Switch. Golden Boy Gaming says, sorry. You're, you're not going to hang your head. For the rest of your life. In shame. <laughs> in shame. Eric said he's banned in my mind. <laughs> yeah, he's filtering him out of just his own personal life. <laughs> Seth John said, you get a shout out if you mention the Wolf Den merch. Fucking ban him. Immediately. <laughs> uh... 
That's even more of a party foul. Calling it merch. Grimhine says, uh, actually, it'd be amazing if you could trade your starter Pokemon. Just create a game, trade it, delete, save, repeat. And you start the game with six amazing stat Pokemon, plus you could probably evolve five Eevees. Hmm. I got the rainbow badge. Oh, high five. I don't have to do that. Erico Felipe says, Izzy, remember the Mill Tank in Goldenrod <laughs> gem in Gen 2? I do remember you going mad uh, on Twitter because of that gem. Yes, Mill Tank. Uh, what's her, the girl's name? I forget her name. Whitney. Whitney, that's right. Whitney. Oh, that drove me. That I had, I, had a, I had a time with that too. Damn it! But we pulled through. Yeah, yeah it took me a while. My God. Uh, Bob is a whale in, in Pokemon. He just fucking buys his way through. Yes. He would have never. Yes, I, ju I just load him up if it were not for how much money he like hoarded. <laughs> yeah, I I just load up on potions and uh, and revives. Yeah, and then I'm good to go, man. That's why I'm like, Pokemon's not hard, dude. It's not. Just load up on items and you're good. All right, I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center. Then I'm going to pee in real life. In real life. And then we're going to play 99. Yay! This is another, this is another uh, thing I feel like I need to fill you in on, Izzy. Uh, when Bob pees, we talk shit. Bob. Okay, good. <laughs> Thanks, That's guys. Everybody's favorite part. Uh, <laughs> but don't tell Bob, though. Don't tell him. Okay. It's our secret. We, and we're, we, uh, it was co op 99 Vitas, right? Yeah. Are we all, we're all let's playing. We're all getting oh, it. Beautiful. Yeah, let's do this. We're all Izzy. Let's all pick Izzy. Can we all pick you? Oh, and don't forget. Oh, I got to be Izzy. Can we all you pick can, you? Izzy can't I be Izzy. Can, I got to be Izzy. That's bullshit. I'm returning again to the store. I didn't, what do you I mean I can't be Izzy? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you didn't pay for the game? It's, I paid for the game. You sent me the game? What? Who sent you what? <laughs> Who's sending you that game? They sent me the game. They, How did you get the game? They emailed me the game. I paid I for it. I just got an email that said, hey, you want to play this game? I, 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 I spent 10 game. bucks on the game just now. I bought it in the car on the way to my brother's house so that it would download on my Switch by the time I came here. Yeah, they sent it to me like three days before it came out. I tweeted about it when I got the game. No, I didn't even see your God. tweet. Yes, you did. You responded to the tweet. <laughs> Hold on. I got I to gotta check my emails now. Maybe I just, maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe I just missed it. That's the, you don't remember that I did a thread even. I was like, the easy mode is easy mode in this game? That's accurate. Yeah, maybe, maybe you did say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got the game a while ago. And I thought I thought it was, but because like you, I thought you were going to DM it to me because we did have that conversation about it. Yeah, yeah, I'm terrible at keeping up with like stuff like that. I'm, I was supposed to send a few, um, let's see here. Where is your thing? I want to say, I want to reread that thread. I got offered a, a PS4 and PS3 review key. There you go. In August of 2017. Which you didn't respond. See, this maybe they said that's No, because I was like, fuck that Izzy guy. <laughs> <laughs> I got to check my other email now. Okay, I'm, I'm logging pissed. into 99 Vitas. Oh, did I say you can't blame me. I just got the email and I responded to it. <laughs> yeah, see, that's that's what you do. I don't know if you guys get as many emails from like Chinese like websites. One, yes, and it's always at like two in the morning too. You notice that? <laughs> <laughs> I assume it must be like noon for them or something because yeah. like at <laughs> around two to three in the morning, that's when my inbox gets flooded. I've said. uh I've said, uh, please stop emailing me to the same. It's the same, like three people. I mean, I get like a lot of different ones, but like there's three of them that keep sending me like requests to review right, their garbage. Right. And I'm like, please take me off of your list. I never want anything that you have. The thing that annoys me is emailing. And they never do. They never respond. And then they keep emailing me. I don't respond a lot for a lot of hardware stuff. Cause I, I mean, I just don't haven't done that i'll probably start most, most of it isn't like it's a lot of like bluetooth like uh, headphones and like speakers and stuff like that yeah so those are i never got a key offer for the switch version i'm just saying just saying that's a, party, that's a party file so email whoever you got email and be like hey the famous switch youtuber bob wolf never got an somebody offer email, in so the you guys chat. you are screwing that's up actually how i told the team that you're going to stream the game tonight <laughs> <laughs> like this guy, his content is great. He's gonna stream our game. It's gonna be beautiful. Let's do this. 
And I paid ten and, whole dollars. And you know what? I bought your shirt so we're even. But you know what? You know what? Oh, you're right. You're they, absolutely right. They went to the correct channels because if we recall, I'm the reason why we're playing this. <laughs> Because I True. said, hey, Bob, True. let's play Izzy's game on stream. <laughs> True. Yes. So, they, you know what? They knew what strings to pull. <laughs> but, um, hold on, wait. Let me see what game. Now is. I gotta buy your shirts. <laughs> yeah, once I fucking figure that out. Uh, what day did the game come out? The 27th? For the, for the Switch, for the yeah. Switch, yeah. The 27th, yeah. Yeah, I got it on the 23rd. There you go. All right. Uh, I'm gonna... The definitive edition. Which really is the definitive I mean, Freaking anything that comes out on the Switch, for me, that's the definitive edition as far as yeah. I'm concerned. And by definitive edition, the only edition that I'll actually bother to play. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to pee. You guys, uh, you know, just say nice things, you know? Okay. That, that, oh, one thing I feel like I should mention. You know how, like, obviously AJ and Bob know this. Uh, for, uh, for indie games that come out on the Switch on the eShop, there's always the quote-unquote switch tax right like they're like 10 bucks on steam and then on the switch they're like 25 30 dollars right we are opposed to that obviously so the game is uh, is actually cheaper right now on the switch than it is on the on steam so there you go no no bullshit switch tax um i don't i don't know what i mean well i know why they try to do it like that because it's like especially if they do retail because they feel mm -hmm. like I can't undercut retail because retail is going to be like, well, fuck you. Yeah, that's always been a problem. Yeah, so. Okay, I'm going to create a room, I guess. Uh, Izzy's. Okay. And I'll put a password, I guess, so that people don't join. And the password is... Okay, I'm going to send you and Bob the password on DM. Here we go. Password. Copy that. Send it to you. Send it to Bob. Here it is. Boom. <clears throat> Difficulty. Let's put uh, friendly fire disabled. Probably. Right? I'm going to disable cutscene. Uh, I don't know. Either. If it's CRT, great. CRT, CRT, portable, portable, CRT, inverted, inverted, CPI. Uh, just, but there's a bunch of filters to see. Wait, can I not use the puppy ball in this game? Yeah, you can. Oh, okay. You should I be able to. I'm in present start, but it wasn't, it's not doing it. You should be able to. Oh, wait, they're not, they're not, I think I went back. Ah, oh, so stupid, I went back. I'm gonna change the name and put it in. Great, I got a better name. Slash, slash, minus. Wait a second, wait a second. Okay. No, 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 I've decided how we're going to give away how? 99 Vitas. I'm gonna tweet. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a linked tweet to the stream. Okay. And if you reply to the tweet, we'll pick a random one as yes, and you'll I'll DM you the code. Difficulty, okay. I'm gonna have difficulty normal. Friendly fire disabled. So I created the room. The password is in your inbox. Let's do that. Is that a room name? What? Yeah, just refresh. It's in the. It should be the uh, the, the North America East uh, the East server, whatever it's called. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Look at that. That's my. That's me right there running. That's. Izzy, tell your game to load faster. I know, right? <laughs> Bob, this is best thinking on the toilet, says Eric Henley. In the shower. In the shower. In the shower. Anyway. On the toilet. I, my toilet's in the shower. I wish the Switch was uh, waterproof so I could play in the shower. Mm -hmm. Or at least once. Everything is waterproof once. So 
for those who don't know, this is a game based on my gaming podcast, which is, I'm glad to be able to say this, the number one gaming podcast in Brazil in the Portuguese language. It's pretty cool. We talk about retro gaming most of the time. Hey. I'm more common game. Where, uh, there you go. Dizzy. <laughs> She's going to be up for three hizzies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, of course I'm picking Izzy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody in the chat, reply to this. If you don't have a Twitter account, you better make one. Mm. Reply to this tweet. Um, and mods, if you could copy that and paste it every so often. Um, reply to that. Say, pick me. And I'll we'll pick a random one of you to win the game. How about that? So we're just not letting me confirm. I have to try. Oh, you end. can't pick easy. Okay, well, if anybody's going to be easy, it's got to be easy. It's got to be me. That's why. Came back. Well, yeah, you you're, you're <laughs> oh wait, did you select first? Oh no, you did! <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> you son of a bitch! He's ah oh, no, I never played this game without my guy. <laughs> I didn't even know what the other guys do? Oh, this. Oh. Yeah, I can't go back. That's it. Oh wait, wait. Oh, well, now we can't play with Bob. Oh sh okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Go back. Bob needs to play. Okay, let's go back. Oh, now Izzy gets to be Izzy. Fuck. Yeah! It's important for Bob to play. Okay, let's create the room. I'm going to create it again. It's going to be the same thing. So, USA East, okay? Uh, and the room is going to be... LOL, Bob. And the password is the same thing as before. Do, 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 do. Normal, disabled, create. The system's rigged. I was supposed to be Easy. In my favor. Okay, come on and confirm and ready. Let's go. Uh, rooms. LOL, Bob. Uh, let me hide my screen while I type in the password. I here. sent you. Yeah, I sent you the password. <clears throat> oh, he he was ready this time. This time he came prepared. <laughs> I don't know who any of these people are. How am I supposed to be connected to my character if I don't personally know who they are? <laughs> Fire, earth, thunder. What is Izzy? Thunder? I'm thunder, yeah. Water. I mean, I assume AJ wants to be fire. Why do you assume that, Bob? Because you're, you're like fire type. Over. I'll tell the funny story. Yeah, you, know, uh, you know the character Trish in the game? That wasn't Trish originally. That wasn't the name originally. Oh, uh -oh. That, yeah, character, that character was my ex-wife. <laughs> no. <laughs> we changed her name. Well, I know who I'm being now. <laughs> oh, is that why she's the same type as you? Yep. <laughs> even <laughs> I'm gonna be Hannah. Even her clothes are similar. All right, so I'm not. Oh my gonna, God. Gonna I'll pick. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there we go. <laughs> That's funny, huh? Okay, let me go. Confirm fries. <laughs> Confirm, AJ. I you know Come on, AJ. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Stage select, here we go. <laughs> Grimhead said because AJ is lit. That's why he said <laughs> my favorite type is fire type. Uh, Bob should be a DLC character. His special attack is binding and blinding with good deals on apparel. Ooh, look at that dither! Look at that pixel dither! Nice, right? Good uh, art, Bob? good art. Bob, that's that's yes. some nerd shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's some nerd shit. Nerd shit alert. Car Take a screenshot here. I'm blaming Bob. Take a nice little screenshot. Hey, buddy, is there a repair shop nearby? <laughs> Yep, there's one by the game store just down the road, the street. They're playing an accent. <laughs> uh, uh, but the boss ordered us not to let anyone pass. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, the boss. Oh, Did my God. Tell us what he means? I see. No, AJ, that's you. That's your guy. <laughs> I have lives enough to finish you all. That's we have 99. We have 99 of them. I, I, we were I supposed to, but we don't. We only have five. We only have five? It says yeah, 99 see? right there. 
Cause, what? Because I'm in the podcast, but we only have five lives. And she goes, that few? That few? Oh, I see. Get it? Here we oh, shit, I used my special. Fuck. Nice. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Izzy. Right. Wow. Yeah, Your I'm character's up great. my own game. That's great. Oh, that I did it, too. Ah, there you go. This happens every time a game is like this, like with uh, hey, to skip Shinobi the does this. Yeah. How do you, you have to hit every button, and then you always hit the raw, the one that does the special. Go. I do special. So this, uh, this level. AJ, don't hit A. As you can, as you can see, this level is based on like you know, like a kind of a crummy neighborhood back home. This is kind of like where I grew up, kind of like a rough, rough neighborhood type thing. Help! Uh, Help! I'm getting on here. Here you go. Okay. See, I didn't choose easy mode for. You know, didn't wanna, didn't wanna make it too easy, but uh, there you go. Kick his ass. The combo is it's like a little lightning. It comes down on the third, on the third punch, which is nice. Beep. Last guy, come on, kick his ass. There you go. I love the go. The go, yeah. The art is great. I know, right? The art is art, great. Art grab, the music is pretty decent too. Oh, you stole my, my master system. I think that was a master system. That's money for you to level up your uh, your moves at the in between levels too. I like on my glasses. I don't know if you noticed, but they pop off when oh, I punch. That was, that was the kick button. <laughs> this game gets a little hectic when uh, friendly fire is on. It's a good thing I turned it off for this. There you go. It's been a while since I played online. Oh. There you go, buddy, and run. Fucko. Oh, okay. You double tap. You double tap. Ooh, the D-pad works. Yeah, oh. baby. Oh, here we oh, go. I, pre I pressed A. <laughs> ah, you bitch. Everybody's doing one at least once. So how many uh, specials do you get? Uh, what do you get one per life, or is it just one? No, no, it loads up. There's a special bar underneath your life bar that loads up. As you ah. Oh, okay. I just suplex somebody. I see. Oh, my God. There you go. What, what was that? It's like a rock move, like if uh, Fry's has like a rock base, like his ground base attacks, right? How did I do it? <laughs> uh, Ooh, it's a combo. B and Y. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. I forget mine. Mine is like uh, I I jump in. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh my god, you were naked. I was I was naked. And if, is the tie okay with you that? You notice that, but I'm like, there's a bunch of like Game Boys exploding everywhere when I do that move. Oh yeah. Oh, who got it? I got it. F you. Damn it. Oh guys. yeah, if you tap twice, forward, and then the, the, the punch attack, it's like a nice combo. What? Look at those guys. Oh my god. Oh damn. No, no, that's not even it. Like, what, run, that, like, do a double tap run and then hit it, and like, you'll see, it's like a 10, like, 10 hit combo. He can do it, I can't do I'll it. I'll show you, I'll show you. Because I have the bat. There's too many, they're crowding the bat. Oh, there's it. The bat is it. Yeah, I did that. Hey, you want to do a run? Like, do a run, and then hit the, uh, like the, oh, oh damn it, it's gone. It's like a dash attack go. and smash though. Yeah, pretty much. I don't have the. I don't I'm have the thing. <laughs> Come on, man. This takes me back. This kind of gameplay. You see the guy throwing up in the outside the game store? That's yes. A, Is that that's you? That's true story. So uh, my co-host Juden G. Nobody picked this character, but uh, he uh, he was so excited when uh, the owner of the local game store told him that uh, they got uh, Mortal Kombat. I think it was Mortal Kombat Two. Oh. That he. I uh, that he, he got so excited about that that he threw up right then and there. <laughs> he loved Mortal Kombat that much. Oh, you died already? Who died? Uh, nobody. Nobody died. Yes, you did. Both of you. It didn't, it didn't happen. Both of y'alls. Oh, who did it? Oh, that's nice. Oh, you yeah. wasted on one guy. Did they hit anybody? <laughs> you wasted on one guy. <laughs> he grabbed me. I wasn't down with that. <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus. There's a bunch of them. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna do some jump kicks. Jump kicks are cheap in this game. Here you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Boom. Take that. Oh, oh there's a truck. There's That's a truck. Cool. Kick, 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 punch. There you go. And off you go. And you too. Oh, man, I'm owning at this game. <laughs> I'm owning at this game. Then, owning at my own game with my own character. Uh, you know, if you think about it, anything I say right now while we're playing this. Double tap is, right. Counts as a voice acting for the for my character. That's true. Thirty one Film Talk is asking, what game is this? This is called Ninety Nine Vitas. It's a beat em up that's available on all platforms except for the 3DS because we could make it the Kickstarter. Right now we're playing on the 3DS. Is trash. Hey, 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 come on, come on now. 
Look at me in the bag. AJ, double tap right. There you go. Give me the bananas. I got money. There's a chicken. Oh, damn it. You stole my food. I did. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. He has a knife. He has a knife. Wait, oh, that guy. That guy has a knife. All of them have knives. I haven't used my special one. All right. <laughs> one that I messed it up in the beginning. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. Somebody has to save their special. We should say all save our specials for the boss, so it's going to be a quick one. Oh, my God. That Oh no, they got me! They grabbed me. I should have used my special. Do you get two specials when your meter's full? Uh, one special. Oh. Come on. Oh my god, oh my god. Kick his ass. Kick his ass! Can you kick people into each other? <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, no, you can't. Because I mean, you can grab them. If, yeah, you can grab them. And then if you, you can kick, if there's like two people, your kick is going to hit both of them. But you can't, like, it doesn't detect, like, collision between two characters when they're falling. That thing. Bam, fucking punch right in the face. Oh, baby. You collectively have 13 Vitas. What happened to 99? <laughs> oh, these guys suck. I haven't died once. Look at that. We never played this game before. <laughs> oh, you should be good at it still. Very intuitive. It's your, you're in the game. <laughs> intuitive design, it's great. Oh, it I died. Why do you keep hitting A? Yeah, just move your, your thumb away from that. Just don't hit A. I <laughs> Oh, here you go. Watch, watch this. Watch this. I got the, I got the bottle. Uh, th I'm going to show you the combo I was talking about. Don't eat that. I need this. Oh, oh <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. Okay, watch this. I was this. about to eat it. Did you see that? Did you see that? No, I missed it. Ah, oh, jeez. I broke it. I broke it. I got like 12 hit combo from just one thing. Because you dash, you run towards them, and then you hit the, like, you hit the, the punch, which is using the, the weapon. And it hits them like several times. Oh, that's what you're trying. That's to what I'm trying to show you. Yeah, with the bat. But the problem with the with the bottle is that it breaks after you could do that once or twice. I think it was. It doesn't last very long on account of being glass. And all. Oh man, I'm almost dead. Shoot. Eat a chicken. Eat a ground I, chicken. Four chicken. Trash chicken. chicken. Yeah. Trash chicken. Trash chicken. I need a Castlevania chicken. Where is it? Okay, there should be a ground chicken here. Oh nope. Oh, damn. Oh, man. I'm screwed up. Okay, I'm gonna use my special before I die. Oh, there we go. Boom. Nice. Nice. And yeah. Still alive. Oh, my God. There's a bunch of them. Okay, run, 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 run. There we go. And punch. I don't want to die. <laughs> I'm trying to run away from all of them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, the bad the, the, the guy got me. Crap. I'm doing pretty good here, actually. Oh, Jesus, I'm surrounded. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm dead. That's the, they're surrounding me. <laughs> they're surrounding me. Come on. Give me the game today. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, man, you're almost dead. Who's almost dead? Oh, both, both of you. Both of you. I'm going to... Oh, I was going to try my special. Uh, Damn it. No time. I'm gonna spam some some jump kicks because they're pretty they're pretty OP. Oh, come on, come on. Oh no. Oh, I get it. <laughs> oh no. And this would be absolute insanity if we had uh, friendly fire on. Oh no. It becomes insane. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost there. Oh, I should stop using that attack because it takes some life. What takes life? Uh, the, the attack where I strip all my clothes and you get hit by Game Boys everywhere. That attack, oh, just... it takes it takes life, yeah. Do do any, do we have attacks that take life? Yeah, everybody has attacks like that. Oh, I gotta pay attention. Yeah, man. Oh, here we go. Here's a boss. Now the story about this boss. He's the um, the owner of the video game, the local video game store in my neighborhood, and I we had a big fight because I accidentally let loose a sewer rat inside his store. <laughs> so for real, this is a real story. So he grabbed me by the ear, and it took me out of his store and cursed me out right in front of the, like everybody in the middle of the street and everything. And I got banned from his store for uh, for a couple months. <laughs> and he was uh, he was Argentine, right? So that's why he's wearing uh, an Argentina jersey. I know you. The boss has warned me you you would show up eventually. You and your friends. 
Wasted your time talking about video games instead of doing what you have to. No wonder you're here. But you can rest assured you'll re uh, regret ever crossing paths with me. You shall not pass. Uh -huh. Not the funny. The funny thing too is that I I wrote an article about that story about letting a rat loose in his store, and uh, a guy who reads my website actually dates his daughter. So he Bob, sent me an email. Bob owner. Yeah, Bob owner. So he uh he sent me an email. This calls for some extreme measures. Better call my dad because th that's another the inside story. Anyway, there's there's a lot of little inside jokes because of course the game is based on our podcast. So all the stories that we told over the years, right? Um. Why is it loading? Uh, oh, he's yeah, he's still reading it. But since you're so adamant about it, bring it. There you go, Bob Boner. There you go. Oh, yeah. oh good, good, good. I get a fast one. Oh, that didn't take much at all. This is on. It's on medium mode. I don't mind. That is some animation. Oh Jesus! Oh, take a look. Go, 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 go! Kick his ass! Kick his ass! There you go! There you go! Do I have a special? No, I don't. Oh Jesus! Christ. Almost done. Almost done. Come on! Come on! We can do it. We can do this. Oh God damn it! Why did he get me? <laughs> I got these guys. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. No. Fuck you. Rip. How's that? Oh, there's like a mid special and and yeah, exactly. uh, and. Uh... He's almost dead. Oh, he there you go, there you go. Kill him, kill him, kill him. There. Boom! Yeah! Rip, we beat the game, it's over, we won. <laughs> that guy's gigantic. <laughs> Gamer wants it. Now it's the shop. Izzy, did you help create this game? So yeah, the game is based on uh, my gaming podcast. I didn't do any of the programming or anything like that. I was kind of like a... Like, how would you even call it? But, like, they would bring up, like, the design, like ideas and stuff like that and we had like veto power over like yeah we like this we don't like that kind of thing basically but i didn't do any of the coding or anything like that oh this is what i need uh confirm purchase yes uh oh i don't have the, as much money as i thought i did oh i get a high duke and i'll get a life you guys better you guys get it better get life too because you guys suck how much money do i have you have four thousand two hundred forty it's a red oh red. i see yeah. Oh, I already do this. This is a high dupe, and I want this. Okay, let me go back. Are you done? Yes. What do I do? Can... Oh, you. Yeah, you, oh, you can get a life. No, oh, you messed up. No, I get my life. You messed up, boy. Yeah, right, fine. I'll save my money for a life on the next one. <laughs> no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. <clears throat> Waiting nice for people. Yeah, that's Bob's game store. So these stores, they are very popular, in Bra or were very popular in Brazil in the eight and uh, sixteen-bit generation. Not so much in the states, from what I can tell. These are stores where they have a bunch of TVs set up, like you see there, and you pay to use the the games for the hour, basically. So like you'd pay a buck, and then you get to play like Sonic or Mario for an hour, right? So. Yeah, they're very, very big in Brazil uh, in the 90s. Every every neighborhood had one of those, um, and like we couldn't, a lot of us couldn't afford video games, right? They're pretty expensive, so it was uh, the way that most of us got to to play games. And uh, we'd go like because everybody was there playing games and just watching games and talking about games. Even when you didn't have money, you'd still go to like just chat with people, right? So it was kind of cool. More pizza. Oh, okay, here you go, the bat. Watch oh. this, watch this. Here you go, here you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess somebody up. Okay, watch this, watch this. Come on. Oh, and... Uh, I, can't, I can't get the... Ah, I dropped it. God damn it. Ah, uh, yeah. So. Screw it, screw it. Oh, we do. We both used it, I think. Nope. Okay, here you go. It's because use, I'm using the analog, and the analog is a little harder to run. Oh, Jesus Christ, I dropped it again. Oh my god, oh my god. Here you go. There you go. 11 combo, see that? Oh. combo. Yeah, see? Nice. It's just hard to get it going. There we go. Oh man. Ooh. Oh my god. Stop. Get your finger, get your thumb out of it. Pop off your A button. Just move it away from there. Oh yeah. So those consoles are money for the store, basically. 
Oh jeez. This girl with the with the, the bunny is a pain. Wait. Yeah, she uses her bunny as a weapon. Yeah. That's based on a, uh, a comic book. Like, you know, we have like the Brazilian version, like the Brazilian equivalent to Archie. The the main character in the in the in the gang is a girl who uses her little stuffed bunny to to hit the boys, right? That tease her. So that's kind of like the design inspiration. Like, it's something that we pretty much all grew up with, like reading those comics. Like, it, they're pretty much the equivalent to Archie comics in the Brazilian living experience, if you will. Is the person holding his knee supposed to be like a soccer player? Oh, was that? Yes, yes. That's why he's like, <laughs> he falls down and he's like, oh, I got hurt. Like, ref, look over here. Oh, man, we're, I'm almost dead. Jesus Christ. I should have walked No, is he now? <laughs> One more lives. Oh, what the? What Are the we man? capable of locking in this game? Nope. You gotta be good. Oh, my God, I gotta stop doing that. I just saw them blocking it. I'm like, is that something that we can do? Them. It's not so much a block, it's kind oh. of like, oh, Tried to suplex and he blocked. Uh oh. Yeah, it's a, like a sub boss. <clears throat> Ed Bar I know what you did to the Argentinian. He was one of us. And for that, you'll face the ire of the league. Sounds ominous. We're not, we're not gonna we're not gonna read our, our parts here. Shut up! Get ready for you'll be kissing the floor when I'm done. Here you go. Oh boy! Oh boy! She's kind of cheap, but she's not like particularly hard. Oh, there you go. Boom. Well, I could do this. Yeah, you can. Mess her up! Mess her up! There you go. See? Oh, that was it. Yeah, she's just a sub boss. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> well, I'll probably get more. AJ's like, has like a hair of life left. Rip me. Eric says, I'd like to visit Brazil. I love your jujitsu. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good jujitsu. Let me get the food. Get the <laughs> oh, you, you need food, yeah. <laughs> I was almost dead too, so that was a, that was a. Oh, Jesus, there they are. Some. Rip. Protect AJ? Oh, no, too late. Too late. AJ almost dead. Oh, Jesus Christ. Boom. Yeah, let's start using specials and checking AJ. Here we go. Good. Oh, jeez, I got kicked right in the face. Take that. Take that. So, is how you grab people just walk up to <laughs> Take that. Oh. Did you use your suit? Oh. Nice. I did not. Try to build mine up. Oh, uh, what is it's that? It's a special level. Uh... Yeah, they got soccer right in the face. I'm gonna kick them in the face. I, lo I love being able to clear everyone around me. It's awesome. I don't have a move like that. Unfair. I have this. Oh, wait, where is it? You have the Game Boy I one. I have the Game Boy one, which is this. Boom. And again. But it takes, it takes life when I do that. A little bit. Actually, quite a bit. Oh, it's not a good idea to use it unless you're really I gotta remember to use my Hadouken here. Yeah. It's pretty good. Oh, AJ's, AJ's almost dead. Is that, I guess that's why. Is that the move that takes help for me? The, fucking, like, I, the ground stop? I believe so, yeah. Oh, okay. That's why. So, yeah, when <laughs> they take like life. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed. There's probably yeah. chicken here. Yo, oh, no, that's a pipe. There should be chicken on the next one. Get the chicken. Get the, get the, get the. Oh, get that. Get the, get that. E Ow. Ooh. Come on, keep that. Okay, I'll take care of this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh my god, the guy kicked me from behind when I was beating the guy that. I'm almost dead too. Okay, this is. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, that move, by the way, that, that oh. area, it only, takes, it only takes damage if it hits the opponent. So, I'm, like I'm gonna do now, there you go. Clear that. I'm gonna use a special. Oh, Brooks is nice. nice. Somebody said, AJ, hey, go and die. Yeah, he did. Rip me. Well, what are these guys? Oh, yeah, they're the tiger guys. Tekken? <laughs> I wish I would have I've been paying attention, but 
that move took out? <laughs> yeah, when it when it lands, it takes out. Yeah. Every time I did it, it landed. <laughs> you didn't pay attention. You're just looking at the guy dying. Yeah, I'm just doing an attack. I didn't even. Oh, mine does too. I didn't yeah, when it, those are like the ground attacks. So like basically, if you're surrounded, right? But that's the that's the takeaway. So it does that because it does that so you don't spam. Exactly. So you don't spam it. Okay. <laughs> you know what's weird? Hey, I was watching... hey you. Wait, what's that? I'll continue. I can't fucking see it. Okay. Your poor colors hurt my eyes. You don't deserve to get anywhere near the boss. I'll do Izzy's voice. Colors? I like colors too. <laughs> That's what I sound like. <laughs> but I don't have time for that. Move! I need to retrieve the, the 99 Vitas! Ha 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 I don't care what you want. All I care about is what I want. And I want, really want, is to paint the world red with blood, your blood. Here we go. Oh, oh boy, you okay. Go. Open things um, up. With a little but um, apparently, like, the, like, Smash Brothers is, like, super embargoed. Like, they came and say that they have it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but... Everybody knows they have it, so I don't even understand why that's it, like it's embargo like that. Because I know I, I'm not, I don't have an embargo when they say I forget me. I forget this guy's and pattern. Like oh, oh, well, you don't have it yet. Yeah, exactly. They told me that they're going to give me the game, but they never told me that that I couldn't say that. <laughs> oh man, we barely scratched them. Still, like I'm trying to Hadouken him, but I'm because oh, I forget it because I forget his attack pattern. Like you want to hit him twice or three times and then move away because he does that thing. Ah, oh, crap, he got me. Yeah, he's quite challenging for a second boss. Oh, jeez. Out of the way, out of the way. You wanna go up to him? Punch him? Oh, there you go, there you go. That's that's the time, that's the, that's the time. Too. Oh, crap. One too many. Oh. You wanna hit him twice when he's move? Like, hit him twice when he moves to the little barrels there. God. Yeah, you wanna get out of his way when he's... Oh, there's a... Ah! Mother. Oh, I mean, I got hit too. Oh, here we go, here we go. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's the game. Damn it. Oh, he's going to get around. Gonna... Ah! Un... I'm going to do this. There you go. I didn't even know you had a special. I got one after I died. <laughs> oh, yeah, you just died. Oh, my God, I'm so... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Just, Damn it! I'm gonna, die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Yeah, he's pretty cheap. Is he Scott wants to know who this guy is? He's supposed to be like a like a leather daddy version of me apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That's why his name is Hardy, because like Izzy, Easy, mm -hmm. and then he's Hardy, he's the opposite kind of thing. Ah I see. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Party. Yeah. Says, is this game online? Yep. We're yeah, we're playing, we're playing online right now, man. Jesus Christ! I don't think we we did any damage to him like in a little while now. Uh, do a special. I don't have it. Oh no, I do. Wait a second. Wait a second. Here we go. You Fuck you. There we go. Almost. 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 Oh, he's not dead. Almost. Almost. Here we go. That's it. 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 Oh. Mark said, is he so good at this game? I know, right? You you almost think I uh, I played this once or twice before. <laughs> Fuck you, Bizarro, is he? Oh, what is this now? What the? <laughs> is this child's play? Oh, boy. <laughs> Bonus level. Do we make it into... Uh... It's supposed to be like stuff that you draw based on video games when you're a kid. So that's the bonus level. Like you pick up like a someone's like it's like when uh, the thing I picked up that little bonus was like a notebook. So this is supposed to be like one of the kids drew like a little like video game level as you would do as you're when you're a kid, and now we get transported to to that to kick ass. There we go. Right in the face. Oh, you killed him before I could finish him. Ah. There you go. Yeah. 
and this. Okay. Did somebody already ask who won the freaking contest? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> I don't think so. Yes. I didn't see it. Oh, come on. Kind of face. Oh man, I could eat pizza. I could eat some pizza tonight. The uh, local Pizza Hut now does, uh, like, what's it called, like a pizza buffet. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, that's a pen! It's a pen, yeah, that, that's just sitting there. Grim, I get it! Get it? Ahead. So is AJ dead for the rest of the game? I'd assume. Yep. Unless game over. Like a uh, last man standing type thing. Although I think, does he come back for the... Cause I play this game very little online. I play mostly multiplayer. Uh, most of my time with this game was during the like the beta testing process. And when it came out on Steam uh, in 2006... Uh, 16, sorry. Uh, this game would be amazing for 2006 standards, I think. Because they weren't doing games like that that much back then. Like Now it's like a thing where like these like retro-style 16-bit like brawlers kind of thing are coming back. But in 2006, I think... What was big in 2006? Like... Uh, Star Wars games and what else? Wait, this is from 2006? 16, 16. 16, oh my god. I was like, Jesus I was Christ, say, yeah. that's so... Yeah, for 2006, that have been pretty impressive. Oh, shoot. I want to use my special. Yeah, I'm going to use my special. Screw it. There's no boss here, so... No boss in this level. Domino's is 50% off menu uh, pizzas until midnight. Ooh. I'm in, oh, I'm damn. in town though, so like everything closes because like I'm in, in Natalia's uh, town, right? So like everything, it's a small town of like 100,000, 100, I think. I'm from Calgary, which is like the biggest city in my province, a uh, city of like 2 million, but I'm in a like small town two hours away. Since I, um, I had surgery, I don't have to work for like three months or so, so I'm pretty much chilling with her here. But the problem with this town, it's nice. But everything closes so early because it's a small little town, right? All right, I put the link to the contest in the chat again. I uh, argue it. In case there's anybody new here wants to uh, win a copy of this game. I am. On the house. Come on. Success. There, almost done. Oh, I'm dead! Oh my goodness! I didn't even pay. I wasn't even paying yes. attention. Uh, no, I'm gonna be dead soon too. Cause I mean, I do have three lives. No, you gotta carry the game for another 15 minutes. Cause man. I rock, but uh, it's gonna be. Yeah, I'm gonna die. It's 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 bad when it's like this. It's around you pretty easily. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use my little special move to try to clear the room a little bit and let's spam a couple of jumping kicks because it's pretty cheap. There you go, and boom, 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 boom. There you go. Oh, one more. 22 combo, did you see that? Hey, you guys gotta, you guys gotta get better at your beat-em-ups. <laughs> Come on. Boom, boom. I think right now, I'm not sure, actually I'd have to check. I'm not sure if this is the only Brazilian game on the eShop right now. I think, actually, no Knights of Pen and Paper is Brazilian, I think. It's supposed to be a pretty good game. I never played it. Uh, they offered me a copy way back to do a like a review on it, but I pulled the bob and I, I don't think I ever replied. <laughs> yep. Freaky. Does that mean pull bob? Pull bob. To be fair, for this game, he didn't reply because he never got the email. <laughs> they never sent it. <laughs> oh, they sent it for a PS4. Well, no, I, no, that, I got it for a oh, PS4. For P oh, damn it. That's Sorry. just as bad as not sending it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you hate the PS4 now? What? He's going to play on PlayStation 4. I don't know if do that. You have a PS4, don't you? have a Pro, don't you, Bob? Uh, no, 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 no. I borrowed a friend's Pro for that video. Oh, okay. Because no, I didn't watch that video because I'm not that big a fan of the PS4. I have a PS4, but I don't care about the PS4. So I'm like, oh, PS4 video. Okay, where's the next Switch video? said, is he shouldn't have stolen the food from AJ I guess. He did. He did He'd still be dead. You know why? Because I got two lives and he had zero quite a while ago. So don't don't you put that evil on me. I, mean, I, I should have not gotten that banana. Wait, for wait, what you should have did was say, hey AJ, stop fucking hitting them with that with that attack. It takes health. Oh, I, didn't, I, I didn't see you doing it. That's the problem. I was looking at my guy. Okay. 
Shit. All right, so you're going to beat the whole rest of the game, right? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Or if he dies in the next 13 minutes, that I mean, that's that's on time. Oh. Good job, my cap for my water. Bob is Switch exclusive these days. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you know what? Wait a second. I think that's... Yeah, right. Oh, Jesus Christ, I exited the game by mistake. No! Rip. What? I paused it, and then I, I went to unpause, and I pressed A, and it was the option to exit the game. You mother f. Ah, fuck. Oh, well. Well, we played for quite a while, so... God damn it. There's no way to to pick up where we left off. Uh, no, I think if we were to start a new one, it would have unlocked like that next level. I think. I'm pretty sure if, if we were to do it online now, it would just... Let me try it here. Somebody has a, a room saying, please join. Let's see here, one thing. Grimhane told me to eat my mic. I'm hungry as hell, man. I'm getting hungry. I want to go get, uh, get the food. It's 8.48. I got so much to do. Yeah, I think I'm going to go so eat something. I have to render MDB's video because he his power supply died in his computer. He keeps sending me uh, his project files to render. <laughs> Chris says, so never hit A in this game ever. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Pretty much. correct. Uh, oh, that's a is the panic button. Yeah, I pulled an AJ. Now I pulled a Bob earlier, and now I pulled an AJ. Pressing A out of nowhere. Tactical exit. Yeah, kind of. I mean, we've been playing for a while, so I guess it's not that bad. It would have been terrible if it was right in the beginning. It wouldn't have been that bad if it was in the beginning, because we could have just jumped back in. And then uh, I guess that's true. There wasn't that much. Uh, there's like... Uh, not, not that much effort put in. Yeah. And there's there's like 10 minutes left in the stream. <laughs> so what do you guys want to do for 10 minutes? <laughs> I want to have a shower and eat something. I'm starving. I had lunch and that's it, and it's nine right now, and my mouse oh just my died God. too. So like, life is complicated right now. All right, you know what we're gonna do for ten minutes? We're gonna give away this game. Yeah, let's do that. Bob, why don't you read uh, Eric's comment? <laughs> sure. Use Uber Eats now. <laughs> Use code Uber Eats. Eats code Eats. FryQV is my code. Use that code. Not a single person has ever used that code. <laughs> Everybody's just using Eric's. <laughs> All right, so I'll, I'll like, post the. To give an idea. I'll post the link to the Twitter again. I'll retweet it again. Oh, I, 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 I wrote it twice. To give action. an idea how small this town is, there's literally one Uber. There's like one guy <laughs> that does Uber here. What the yeah, hell? Yeah, there's just one guy. All right. Uh, how am I gonna do this? I guess I gotta just scroll and pick a random one. Is there? A, is there a like a random picker thing? No, isn't. Yeah, there's no random picker thing, right? I don't think so. It puts the people that I also follow at the top. So jokes on you. If I actually know you, if we're mutuals, you're not getting this game. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh my god, a lot of people. A lot of people. There's a lot of people. Well, only one of you is getting it. So what are you using to do the, the giveaway? Like, is there a... I was just gonna scroll oh. and then stop and then pick one, uh, but... Unless there's a better way to do there it. There are, oh, you weren't kidding, there's quite a few. Ooh. Random tweet picker. Oh, I should have used the uh, hashtag. Or just like, just here's what you do: open the, the thing, and then like have all the tweets load, and then just like on your uh, on your scroll wheel, just go like up, down, up, down, and like a whole bunch, like just mess it up, and then whichever it stops on. Like I just did it here and stopped on top of. As an example, Philip, you didn't win. Don't get excited, but I'm just using it as an example. I did just that in my mouse, and it exactly on Philip Romeo. That's what I was gonna do. Yeah. And it's yeah. pretty much there's no like I'm looking away, and there's pretty much no way whatsoever of. What just happened? Hold on. Yo, uh, Bob, you don't have a subreddit, do you? No, no, no. What? That's where it's at, man. <laughs> I just tried to use this random tweet picker, and uh, I don't really know. It's not picking a random tweet. It's picking random people, and I don't know if it's. I don't know how it's picking it. But the first person who picked was Eric, and fuck him. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do it the way I wanted to do it. All right, 
I'm gonna go like I'm gonna turn around. Well, let me load all the tweets. Yeah, that's what you do. Load all the tweets. Yeah, everything's loaded. All right. So I'm gonna go to the top, and now I'm gonna go like this. Yeah, just go I'm like. Looking. I'm not looking. Grimhain. All right, who am I on? Ah, oh, it's at the top. Grimhain and Bob, work. you have a sub to read. I have a sub to read. Yeah. I got sub to. Yeah, I guess so. That's what Grimhain said. Uh. Uh, NBA 2K Wade asks, Izzy, what part of the city are you in? The Domino's deal sucks even with the discount. I might be able to recommend a better place. I'm not in Calgary right now. I'm in Lethbridge, actually. Uh, Jonathan Tremblet. You win. That's a very French-Canadian name right there. There we have it. Uh, Where is he? Can Can I message? Put it in the chat. <laughs> Probably <laughs> somebody says Bob wins. There you go, Bobby. You just wanna <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna send him the code right now. Off screen, of course. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. Imagine I show it. I'm telling you, that's what that's what you should have done. Just like send it in. That's uh, the worst. Because then it's just, you know, whoever has the fastest connection. Too much. Or fastest. Oh, fastest it's Deceptijon. Deceptijon won. Congratulations, Deceptijon. Hey, that's him. He never tweeted, too. You might not want to show that because it's on screen, just so you know. <laughs> no, I, I did. I, I did yeah, it on screen. There you go. <laughs> said shoot. <laughs> Who said shoot? The guy that asked if he won earlier. <laughs> and that's li like Jonathan is very, very lucky because that's literally his only tweet ever. I tweeted a thousand, wow. a billion times and never won anything. The guy tweets once and wins something. Look at that. Just delete your Twitter hey, immediately. Yeah. Deceptive John, congratulations. You gotta, you gotta come out on top. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Eric would have won if that uh, tweet picker uh, was actually showed me what the hell was going on. <laughs> Hold on. Can I pull it up? Maybe I can pull it up. It's very bizarre. Look at this tweet picker. Like it doesn't, it says pick a random tweet, but like, does it do it from the thread or does it do it from my followers? It's very bizarre. And and when I pick one now, you, whoever this picks didn't win. Oh, this is invalid. Did I delete the tweet already? Oh, oh man, I know what I'm playing tonight. <laughs> nice. No, you didn't delete it. It's still there. Read my sub. Okay, okay. I'll read the sub. I'll read the sub. Oh, Grimhain. Prime sub. Seven months. How come that didn't come up? Izzy killed everyone. It's all your fault. Yeah, it is. I messed it up. I messed it up. I was stealing all the chicken. That's why I had so many lives at the end. When you guys are dead, I'm just running and grabbing the chicken and the apples. <laughs> Eric said, I won. Now me and Deceptive John have to fight. Oh, it says retweet. Oh, that's what happened. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, it's just picking only the retweeters. Okay. That does make sense. That makes Okay, good thing I didn't pick that then. <laughs> because Eric was probably the only one who retweeted it. All right, well, that's that. Congratulations, Deceptive John. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Anything else you got? You got you people want to say? Sounds good. <laughs> I think that's it. I'm gonna go get some pizza. I'm starving, Bob. Good call. Yeah, man. All right. Oh, there's, there's there more. more. What's that? Roster child with a tier one sub. Thank you. I don't know why. I I must not have gotten any notifications today. All right. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'll see you on Tuesday for a stream on twitch.tv slash wolf. Don't forget to check out the description of this video where you can see Izzy's channel and AJ's channel, of course. Yeah. I'm going to be in AJ's video this week. Nice. I completely forgot. I got to film it. What's that. it about? We're going to give away, fam, this week. Uh, it's about Smash Brothers, man. Oh, yeah. We're doing a giveaway for uh, two copies of Smash Brothers. Yep, yep, yep. Because AJ kicked my ass. Yep. And I have to do it now. Nice. 
So both of our videos this week are going to have a giveaway in it. So we're going to... I'll see you then. All right, guys. See you then, too. Oh, we're streaming the Game Awards, too. Goodbye, everybody. Go to twitch.tv slash wolfden. Give it a follow. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.